Welcome. We are Table Goth, a group of tabletop game enthusiasts and gothic aficionados. We are here to play Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then, this is where I talk uh -huh. about being careful because <laughs> we get into some potentially upsetting things. And last time you tried to call me out saying, oh, I say that every, every episode. episode. Last one really was pretty spooky. This one might also be spooky. <laughs> and by spooky, I mean probably makes you uncomfortable, so it's okay to mute it. Uh, anyway, don't mute this because this is important because I'm doing an introduction to this game in a professional manner. Jim. Also, we did not forget to do introductions because we're doing them now, starting with... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I play Evelyn Gibson. She's a Torador. That's all we need to know. Next. Uh, Elijah Buchanan, uh, Bruja. Jordan Quick, and I'm a Malkavian. Hermalas Kiff. I'm Bully, I'm a storyteller, and this is once again our game, <laughs> Taste of Youth. Episode 2, some things happened. We started off rushing to a trap house called the Tree House, where Delilah was in trouble. Someone bursted in and was killing everyone. You're right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Herb took it really hard. Um, they showed up, found Delilah alive, to discover that the uh, some person calling himself the Abyss had gone through, had decapitated the one of the gang members was a vampire and made a warning to Herb to stop doing drugs. Stop dealing drugs. Stop doing drugs. Jack Frost and the rest of the motorcycle gang called the X-Mess gang showed up and they decided that they were going to use Herb as bait, essentially, to try to get the Abyss to attack again. This time they'd be ready for him. So as Delilah went to start spreading news about a drug deal between the X-Mess gang and Herb, uh, what did everyone else do? He did fun stuff. You guys visited uh, the Toreador, Margaret Thorne, member of Fang. And despite all your warnings about her demeanor and whatnot, you got on her good side. And she asked you to start a film project for the city. In exchange, you'll have some protection from her as your house will become a museum and will be under Toreador domain. Because right now, Octavia wants to burn it and everyone inside it to the ground. It's confirmed. <laughs> After that, you guys uh, went with Wendy as she discovered where Jim lived. You went to his place, found the old woman there um, who assumed Jim was dead, and without his blood, she said her cancer would come back and she would die soon. Jordan, instead of turning her, she asked the other route she gave her was to kill her, and Jordan did so, draining the old woman completely. I discovered a creepy room in the basement uh, that had essentially a flesh coffin with what appeared to be Jim inside. After feeding him some blood and he tried to go without answering questions, a fight ensued. A fight that cost Elijah a hand, mm -hmm. uh, cost Jordan her face, um, and Evelyn is currently oh, in a complete hunger frenzy fighting with Herb. The last we checked in, Elijah had stepped in, knocked them off each other. After he finally beat this person in a torpor and stuck a stake in his heart. So we will, uh, we're going to pick up right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh I'm ready. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not ready for this. I'm so, th I'm so thirsty. Drink up. It's <laughs> gonna go well. Uh, you were in a frenzy. You're no longer in a frenzy now that you're down to 101. That would subside. I still got one willpower left. So, as again, this scene, this person just slumped on the ground. His face was pummeled and towards unrecognizable, despite him starting to grow and turn into some sort of more monstrous monster. Um, his body seems to be slowly repairing itself. The stake is in his heart. He's not moving but his mush of a face is slowly correcting. Um, Jordan is still, her, the flesh in her face is rearranged to completely cover it. She, her only sense is her ears, and right now she's just essentially standing in darkness. You've just stepped up with your nub in your hand, pulled these two off of each other. And as soon as you do, Evelyn, yep. still starving, the beast in full control. All you need is blood, that's all you care about. You've tried to get it from him, he fought you off for too long. Elijah's now stepped in. Elijah's even stronger than Herb, you're not going to be feeding from him either. But now for the first time, there's quite an easy target. Oh, no. Target full of blood, full of your blood that he took from you. As, as you pull them off, oh, e this is really bad, actually. Evelyn, as soon as you sort of throw her off, she skids for just a second and then pounces onto the unconscious body of the person uh, that was there. And she dives in, sinking her fangs into him. What would the rest of you like to do? Applaud. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't fucking. I'm letting her do her thing. You let her feed. You probably barely know what's really going on, honestly. Herb, do you do anything? You're just now, the beast has subsided. You've drank almost her full. You're, you're just sort of coming to terms with what's happening here. Oh, shit. Uh, I think I'd try to stop her. Okay. Uh, so Herb runs in to grab her. Are you interfering or are you still stepping back? Are you stopping Herb, stopping her? Uh, no. Doing nothing? Doing nothing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that <laughs> kind of fucking shook it up out of everything I don't know what the fuck sure. to do. you uh get your first drink in 100 or something like two cool as so you take a gulp of potent vampire vitae um what's your also health I have out. two aggro. I'm good. You're good. Okay, so no one's. Yeah, so neither of you are impaired. Once you yeah. are impaired because you went all the way. So you'll be a negative two for all of your physical stuff. There's still two boxes that aren't X'd out. But they're, they're still marked, right? They're still one So box. once they're all marked, you're impaired, and then it takes them a mark to go into torpor. Gotcha. Um, oh, then I think I'm impaired. No, I'm not. Just kidding. No. I have one that's not boxed. That's, okay, so. But I have two that are crossed. How are you going to stop? Are you just trying to grab her? What are you doing? Yeah, I just try to like, physically pull her off. And I'd, as I do it, I'd look to uh, Elijah and be like, dude, blood bonds and shit. And I'd go uh, run out. Strength brawl. Um, or strength athletics if you're trying to yank her off. E either one. When I get down to three, I know it'll probably be like the next turn, but can I use my will to like get my together again? I have one left. Okay. One success. Ah. Uh, Success is not enough. She takes another drink. Um, you go down like two more. Okay. Start hunger one. Am I able to do that now? Or no? uh, if you want to spend a willpower, you can momentarily gain control of yourself. You can stop drinking if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, because I'm at hunger one. Although, yeah, right now the, the beast is hungry. Um, you're, you're no longer starving anymore, but now you're quite close to draining him completely. His blood's powerful, potent. And if you were to drain the last of that, who knows how much stronger you would be. Uh, I'm going to spend the will and get off. Okay. Those thoughts racing through. You spend your last willpower? My last will. Okay. Also, a note that I didn't realize. Once you use all of your willpower, you're considered impaired as far as doing social or mental things. Mm. So you'd be at a negative two to those. Awesome. Um, yeah. So assuming you still want to do that? Also do it. Okay. Yeah, so 
You try to pull her off, she doesn't. She takes another few gulps and then eventually pulls herself off of her own accord just as you step in with her good hand and try to grab her. You okay? Yeah, let's just get out of here. So I'm gonna grab Jordan, I'll pick up the book. What, you, what is that? She wants to burn the place down, like I was oh, trying to yeah, tell her to do it. Yeah. All right, just kind of grab Jordan's elbow and lead her upstairs. Are you taking anything from this room? The, the book. book. Oh, you're okay. Sorry, I need to catch that. Okay, so you grab, you have that long, the hand where the fingers sort of extended into almost like tentacles there. It's now also reverting to a normal looking hand. You take the book from it. Is his face back together again? Uh, yeah, the, the face is repaired. It no longer looks like Jim, though. What does, what do, do does he look like? I mean, you, no one you've seen before. Just you a nondescript. A, he does have, like, he, he, he still looks monstrous. He has like a protruding forehead with sort of bony ridges. Okay. Long. Um, he has very large, sort of unnaturally pointed eyes. Um, he looks sort of alien, monstrous a little bit, but more human than he was mid-transformation. Um, you see, he has almost facial hair, like a mustache and goatee, but it's made of flesh. These dark, thin tendril strips Ooh, that are woven man. together that maybe at a distance would look like a little goatee thing. Yeah. But up close, you can see the skin, elongated skin. Uh, the intestines that burst out of their own accord now slurp back in like noodles almost as they go back into his body and the stomach closes up. Um, where he was enlarged in places, he's starting to shrink down to a normal size. Though his eyes remain closed, the stake remains firmly planted into his heart. Okay. Um, gross. How are we going to burn this place down, like, right? I've never burned anything down before. Uh, it's really easy, man. You just start fire. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, should we, like, take the corpse with us and make sure it sees, like, some daylight? Because mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck that thing can regenerate through, but probably not daylight, right? It's a good idea. I mean, it's not a good idea, but it's an interesting idea. Should we wait for Wendy? I mean, yeah, I think she took the car, man. So, no. definitely need to wait for Wendy. No, she didn't. Well, the car no, was still there. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Then, oh, right. nah. Let's <laughs> just get this fucking thing. Pick him up gently and start walking upstairs. Okay. Uh, you hold on to the book. Alright. I drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor. Slice in midair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made sure I got my sword if that wasn't clear. <coughs> so, okay. I'll help Jordan up. That sounds like a bad idea, but I'll do it. You got the gun? Grab the gun. Yeah, the gun and the knife. I'll give Jordan her knife back. And I have the gun also. You, I'll give it to Jordan because she's no. I, this is I fun. I like hand. this. It's, it's like hand. charades. <laughs> I put Flat it in her hand. hand. <laughs> it's it sort of embedded a little bit, or like the the fist. You could probably see like <laughs> this part up. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's kind of half chopped, half <laughs> broken. It's sort of the form. Like so yeah, you have this sort of <laughs> bony protrusion. Mm, tug it. Never heard of it. Uh, it's yeah. You tug it. Aside. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Just want to slice it out of yourself. Dress. I'll worry about it later. Okay. We'll upstairs. Should probably fix. Point to her. Says, don't say anything. I think when she wakes up, she's supposed to go back. What to are you home. talking about? <laughs> All right. Are we I going was up? pointing to the corpse. <laughs> are we going? Yeah. All let's right. Go. Uh, I'll stick close to Elijah, just in case I try need to, to feed again. <laughs> take a bite out of somebody else. Um, you can with one hand. Yeah, probably still a better. Shape. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good person. <laughs> All right. Um, I missed that. I was looking down. She was Do doing. That again? She was like, "That's a good idea." She was doing double guns. There was only one gun in there, Jordan. 
Did you bring another gun? Yeah, is there a second gun? <laughs> so what are you guys doing? <laughs> Leaving. Yeah, we're going upstairs. Okay, you're upstairs. Uh, is Wendy outside? Right, take it to the, the car, yeah. load in, Can I'll take be, care of the fire. I'm gonna make sure like no one's fucking outside seeing us take a corpse out of the fucking house. Um, give me a uh, awareness resolve. Or wit, wit's awareness. Oh, this is not good, this is three hunger. <laughs> okay. Two, two successes. That's four. I'm oh, just kidding, That's it's not four. critical, thanks. That would have been bad. Uh, at a glance, you, you don't see anyone, but I mean, you're, then perfect in the suburbs, you have a car in the driveway that doesn't normally have a car in the driveway, especially yeah. a car like this. Somebody already called the cops. It on would us. make sense that uh, you could, you would, just, can imagine someone might be watching from a window, but looking around real quick, you don't see anyone. Yeah. We sure want to take this with us. We just leave it by a window upstairs. It'll get engulfed by the fire, and then if the fire doesn't take it out, the sun will. Empty your empty your pockets. Uh, Say, I'm not really like paying full Something attention to my Something tells me <laughs> if the house goes up in flames, it's not going to make it. You know what I mean? From what you understand about vampires, no, if you're burning a body with. I mean, that's what the sun does. It burns a body. Yeah. And when the school went on fire, we all were pretty upset. That's the thing. I'm terrified of, we're all terrified of fire. I don't want to start a fire. So I'm going to start a fire. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared? So let's just leave in the house and burn the house. Yeah, the little bit of fire you see does stir something in you. A, a fire of that magnitude would, could very easily send any of you or all of you into a frenzy. A fear frenzy. Oh, fuck that, dude. I'm... What do we do? What do you, Herb, you're smart. What wait, do we do? We can wait for Wendy. Just get in the car. I say we wait I'll for take Wendy. Care of it. Jordan agrees. Right, I'm leaving the body in the house then. Fine. That's whatever. Body in the house. You two guys, someone pulling her along? I'll take Jordan. Looking for what? Looking for what? Looking downstairs? The stake? His eyes? His eyes? Stab his eyes. you never get fixed. <laughs> All right. I'll open the guy's eyes. Okay. That what, we opened his eyes. We opened Is that his what eyes. You Do you want like a pen and paper? Like, I'm sure see. we could find one. <laughs> Take this eye steak. No, open his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Take the steak out. Okay. Do it again. Evelyn. What? So me, right? Not if it's for Evelyn? Evelyn. It's not for Evelyn. It's not for Evelyn. It's not for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the next night. Are you saying we should <laughs> are you saying we should wait for Wendy? Yes? We should have Wendy look at him. Open Wendy. Woo! Eyes. I don't think Wendy's just still open. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's so past midnight. So we let Wendy There's so a four she can four see. Four. What do you want? So we should let Wendy take a look at him. So she might. You have a real gun. Yeah, so you don't have it. Like that. <laughs> don't be a coward. <laughs> no, I don't like that. And the the ghosts in the I'm, house. It was a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what are you doing? I say we wait for Wendy. That's my vote. Yeah. Keep an eye out outside. Keep an eye on the dead thing. Keep an eye. I did it! You do this in charades when you get it right. She can't see me. Never mind. It's very rude. I like New Jordan. She's nicer. <laughs> Just wait. I see her skin eyebrows moving. There is a ghost Jordan, in Jordan, stop it, Jordan! <laughs> Jordan! Oh my Can god. Hold, please. You was that? All right. So sad. <laughs> Nothing happened, and we're continuing. Although continuity, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. So, are you all waiting for Wendy? Yes. Yeah. Keep an eye out. Okay. Someone should be helping me. Who's more aware? You're pretty. Never mind. You're pretty. <laughs> 
I have. I know her. Ah, uh, not. <laughs> I know her eyes aren't there. But takes a moment. Staring at me. Uh, actually, it takes <laughs> takes a little while. So you're just sort of uncomfortably waiting around with this strange corpse and torpor. Whatever that monstrosity is downstairs growing in the room. And just yourselves. Eventually, um, none of you really even heard her come in or notice her. But you just kind of turn and she is sort of just standing there in the living room. Um, she looks quite dirty. Um, like actual like dirt on her. You could tell she's tried cleaning up a little bit. Her dress is still together, but there's actual like dirt stains on her hands, feet, her dress a little bit. Her wig's a little disheveled. Um, and you could see Charles, her Doberman, also look like it's been doing some digging. We got another body to get rid of. I see that. Yeah. Um. Where's your hand? Where the hell is her face? <laughs> Point to my. It's inside him. Her face got melted. It's this thing. I'll point with this hand. He said he was Jim. Right, right. Probably not. Thing Jim. Seems quite off the cob, but start from the beginning here. You. Um, how do we know where to begin? Um, she sort of bends over us, looking him over. Recognize it myself, but uh, some kind of mean anything to the rest of you, or was it faster? He was in a flesh, uh, flesh coffin, coffin. Uh, downstairs. A we heard coffin of flesh, a whole room of flesh, a whole room. table, walls. eyes, mouth, the whole shebang. I know I'm gonna regret this, but I should see it. Yeah, he said he was Jim's partner or something, or he said he was Jim. He then came out looking that like Jim, Jim was his partner, but and then described exactly Jim. what he could do is what Jim was doing. Does that make sense? He played He's us. saying he was a liar. He played yes. us. Interesting. Uh, well, we caught on. And, and he did this and this. and Yeah. Yeah. Which you got his come up, as I see. What's that book you got? Uh, he just had it. Uh, it seemed important. He was trying to get away with it. And flips through it. Have you looked at this thing? No. Okay. Doesn't make a lick of sense. Toss it back to you. She heads downstairs. Um, so I'm down there for a few moments before she Don't touch the door! Up. I wish I'd have it before she goes down there. <laughs> she comes back up. I forgot about that. <sighs> yeah, don't touch the uh, door. Zamichi, you familiar? No. No. It's a clan that can do stuff like this. They are... Lately, most of the Sabbat has picked their sides. The ministry went with the Anarchs. The uh, Banu Hakim, the La Sombra, the Camarilla now. This one clan is still a bit of a holdover. They're uh, nasty fellows, as you can see. Yeah. Kind of fucked up. That's the ticket. Either way, he stakes. This is good. We should uh burn the house down. Why the hell would you do that? You want to get the firefighters, the police, all the government involved in this? Nope. I don't yeah, want that. Yeah, I would never want the cops involved in anything. I don't know why her <laughs> with, idea, with her yes. car, extremely recognizable. Yeah. Easy to read license plates. Just parked outside. Yep. Come Stupid on, idea. Yes, it was. That's why I'm here. Anyway, the body is gone. Uh, should have to worry about that. Let's keep... Now let's take it with us. The body? Yes. Okay. Take it with us. I got someone who can, uh, who's an expert in interrogating kindred. You might know her as your mother. Oh. Yep. I forgot she did that. Well, we'll leave this one to her. I feel like get some answers out of him. Obviously, we don't want to do that at your place or any place that's not controlled. 
probably have her take him to Chicago. Well, how do we fix her? And also him. Yeah. Uh, that'll fix itself. That, I don't know. I can't do what they do. Very few. I mean, really, the, a lot of the clans share the disciplines. They sort of got a monopoly on that stuff. I'll get some people on it. I'll see what I can do. There's a chance you might be able to. Might be temporary. Might be able to heal it. Your body, Evelyn. You? She drank a lot. I of drank blood. a lot of the, Well, he drank a lot of my blood, and then I drank it back. Hmm. That's how you get blood bonded. Yeah, I'm aware. It wasn't on purpose. She kind of lost but it. But technically, yeah. you might be able to learn to do what he does then. You got that blood in you. I'll take some training that I don't know how to give you. Either way, if this was something quick and not permanent, they can make permanent changes to themselves and anything else of flesh. But usually that takes a bit of time. I'm assuming this was... The ambush. Right. He didn't have you captured, didn't do experiments on you or anything, right? Why am I asking you? They didn't do that to her, right? No. It all happened just all at once. We took care of it. Our bodies revert back to an uh, ideal state when we returned. Hopefully that will happen to her. All right, this has been eventful. Uh, is there anything else worth checking out here? I mean, the we car. haven't really checked out much besides the basement. What have you been doing this whole time? Uh, Fighting. Fighting, freaking yeah. the fuck out, uh, trying to deal with that. Yeah. Um, the old lady said she burned all of his stuff, though, so not much is left. Rats. All right. We got this weird book. We got a person. Honestly, that's pretty good. I'm going uh, to get a quick slant. The rest of you go wait in the car. Watch that body. Don't take that stake out. What was planned upon? All right. Message you to the vehicle. She looks around the house for a few moments. Mistake. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, who has the body? Me. <laughs> try to walk him like he's drunk and you're walking into the car. Like, uh, we can have Bernie's? Yeah, we yeah. can have Bernie's, this guy. Put sunglasses on. <laughs> Come on, late. Dad. Okay. Just pray everybody in the suburbs is asleep. Eventually, you guys get him out to the car. Wendy and Charles join you. He drives back to Evelyn's place. Your uh, mother will meet us here tomorrow night. Okay. Um, perhaps it's best we'll stay here this evening. Unless That's you have good. anything more pressing. We don't have a lot of moonlight left anyway. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. We'll decide what to do with this then. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Rest up, kids. And, um, yeah. She helps you move the body to a more secure room. It's not going to get affected by the daylight, but also she takes some precautions to chain it up and whatnot just in case it never be too careful. Does anyone else do anything in the remaining hour or so? I send a message to Lila and then I check out the book. Message just saying they're not going to be back. Saying it. Hold on. Okay. Just message you to be careful. And then she's uh, already been at work putting the word out about the drug deal. Just talk to the most gossipy of people and should be spreading pretty quick. This seems like a, a personal journal. Um, quite plain. The inside is full of symbols, drawings, and abstracts. There's very little actual writing, though. Um, really doesn't make any sense to you. Does it seem like it's code or mad rambling? Mad ramblings. Okay. Bits and pieces might be code, might be some sort of little cipher things, but it's, for the most part, yeah, it seems like no rhyme or reason to this thing. It has no, like, name in it, beginning or end? Um, there's not. Okay. 
you do see, you would spot a couple things that would mean a little something to you, actually, when I think about it. You recognize this, this, this faces with these, these third eyes in the forehead. Um, going through some of the more recent stuff, um, you can barely make out, sort of holding it at weird angles and seeing. They're scribbled over, and there's just drawing on top of drawing on top of drawing on top of drawing where you can't really recognize much. But you can just make out um, the thing that kind of looked like you, that wooden carving. If you tentacles? And the tentacles. I looked at my search history. <laughs> but other than that, not, not much to go off of. Yeah, all right. Um, cool. Anyone else? Going to bed. Taking a nap. Got to sleep this off. Okay. <laughs> Speak now or that's it. I think... Okay. Where'd you get that? <laughs> okay. You all slumber for the day. Next evening you wake up. I'll need rouse checks from everybody. I'm hungry. I'm gonna do a blush. Um, Add this. Will power composure uh, resolve? Cool. Sorry? Will power's composure and resolve? Or. Or. Or, yeah, yeah. Okay. So heal your willpower, one of the two. Any superficial damage you have, you can heal your stamina rating of that. Okay, so that goes right. Um, and then to do. If you have. Who, who got hungry on, the, on just the rouse check to wake up? Oh. Wow. Um, you did blush your life. Mm -hmm. So fix your willpower, composure, or resolve. Um, any superficial damage you have, take away the stamina. Um, if you have aggravated damage, you can heal one of them with three rouse checks. I can't risk that. Does it ever just go away? Nope. I'll save it for another day. <laughs> You're not penalized until your whole thing is full, right? Hmm. Okay. Wait, willpower was composure or resolve? Or is mm -hmm. it? Okay. So three. You can attempt to fix your face. It's going to take rouse checks. It's going to be like healing an aggravated wound, but a little worse. I'm just going to try to heal one of these. Okay. So it, it will heal no matter what. Yeah. You'll heal it, but if you decide to do it, you have to. Okay. I might get hungry. Nice. nice. You lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so with four rouse checks, you can. I'm a three hunger. Okay. So I it, it will feed. heal it. Um, but it would be something of you waking mm -hmm. up to do this. I mean, think about it. Four rouse checks is. Pretty much even at one. Still get there. You roll pretty well. You want me to roll for it? You just need like <laughs> half of them, more than half of them. Actually, I don't want to touch your face dice. <laughs> I'm at three hunger, so if I, I would fail, say just save yeah, it. just half. Three. So what happens if when you try to? Well, you'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't want to see. You don't have to. You can spend the day faceless. Your charades. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm too hungry to do this. Are you sure? Wait. I don't know. I'd wear that t-shirt. Uh, How are you going to... Yeah. You'll have to figure out a way to get blood then to lower your hunger without a face. <laughs> you, might get, you might just get hungrier tomorrow. Which there might be ways to do so. You can get creative. Wear a mask. But... It's up to you. Does the hand just <gasps> oh! 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 Yes. Thank God. Yeah, your hand is... Oh! Actually, you, d you still don't have a hand. You don't want to heal an aggravated wound, which means you're not going to get a hand back. What's up? If you don't you heal an aggravated... Your aggravated wounds, you still will be handless. Fuck you, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this game sucks. I should you not have stayed here. want to roll four of them? I should have went home. I have four hunger. I have three aggravated damage. So if he tries to get rid of one... Just go around handless and hey. faceless. 
You can all lean on each other. Do you want to do it together? Oh my god, I don't sleep in the same room as them. Yeah, none of them. Yeah, gross. I'm sure being in a different room will protect you from a raging vampire. All right, so how many do I need to roll? It'll give me a little bit of head start. You have three aggravated? I have three aggravated. Uh, I mean, you can only heal one at a time. Uh, it's not worth it. I'm just going to Is it? But, uh, but he healing and aggravated, I say, will repair your hand. One. You just uh, heal both. one. I have one. I have four hunger. Yeah, it's so it's one at a time. Right, yeah. Start with you. Are you doing it? No, I'm going to call over my herd so I can feed first. Okay. Uh, no hand. Hand. I got hand in my pocket. I got <laughs> hand in my, <laughs> my pocket. Are you doing this? You're gonna try to. Is oh. The vampire nub. <laughs> okay. <She fell through. laughs> it will put your hunger above. Above five. Yep. But I got one. So so you. I mean, you healed no matter what. So you wake up. Kind of moving your. Jaw, you're opening your eyes, uh, but you wake up just in ravaged with pain. Um, so much so that you, you jolt up, relieved for a split second as you, you can see, you can smell, you can move your mouth. But the beast has such an impact on you and is so hungry that it immediately overexerts your body and you fall back into torpor. So. You are at hunger five, but you, Jordan does not wake up. Oh, I don't have a face though. You do have a face. What a pretty face it is. I mean, she looks pretty better. Face. She's just really tired. But uh, yeah, eventually the three of you rouse for the evening, come together. Oh, Wendy's there. I called your mother. Okay. But not on you, you're not in trouble. That's good. Uh, uh, do you know when she's going to be here, time-wise? I need to do some feeding. Probably within a couple hours. Okay, great. Um, do you need us for anything? Before mom, my mom gets here? <laughs> She'll probably wait for her. Yeah, no, I was just going to call some friends over. That's your mother. You have plenty of time for your friends. No, I need to take care of something so I can heal this. You can speak candidly. I also am a vampire. If you need to feed, you can say so. I said I'm, I need to do some feeding. You said you wanted you to have friends over. over. Play I the was tape supposed back. to Play look the out fucking That's exactly what it. you said. You said it to DM you, or storyteller. You didn't say it to Wendy. But it's good practice for the masquerade. But yeah, go feed. I fucking hate this house. <laughs> I'll go up. I'll You're call. lucky to be here. <laughs> uh, cool. Took a peek at Jordan. She, uh, your face is fine. So, or she's not. Seems to be in torpor. Probably need some blood. She'll probably bring something back for her. I don't know what she likes. Blood. <laughs> Aren't you better at like talking to people, like getting people to come over and stuff? I'm not good at that. My approach. Uh, works better when all participants are awake. Elijah. <laughs> huh? Someone brings somebody back, cut them open, put the blood in their mouth. Do it. No, I was say. Herb, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it looks like... No, no we can't learn. We can't. I'll... F hey, if you guys need me to find somebody, I mean... Probably find some. How are you this bad at doing what you do? You can't find a, a human? Get a kind? Bring him over here? I got it. Don't worry. Thank you. You know, I was most embarrassed of him, but now I'm still there, but not as much. Thank you, Herb. Find something to help your friend. You too. Go do your thing. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to start getting everything set up for our agreement with the uh, Torador. Start putting things into motion and make this place a museum so it's under their protection, and then maybe get the ball rolling. On so the... you have to make a movie first. So, oh, yeah, I guess I'll do that first. Then. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna for you. I did, yeah. Okay. So, and then I'll get work on that. <sighs> Sounds good. Okay. Uh, uh, hold, please. What are you doing? Um. <clears throat> 
I'm gonna, I guess, try to sell some drugs on the street corner. <laughs> drugs and, here. Um, Head to the city. Yeah, and sure. uh, with the intent of giving somebody bad drugs that they're gonna OD on. And then I'll take them back. Yep. Give me a uh, streetwise manipulation. Drug deals, right? Yeah, this is a drug deal. <laughs> Convince someone to not only accept these bad drugs, not really checking it, but doing them pretty much immediately so you have access to them. Are they still paying you for it? Yeah, I'm going to take the deal. money. Yeah. <laughs> is it streetwise manipulation? Yes. May I add your drug dealing specialty? Three. Oh, that's weird. Um, <laughs> that's three? Uh, yeah, that's a bestial failure, though. Uh, I mean, it's all right. I just don't fail it. That's all. Um, three successes. That's all. Uh, three su- Three's pretty good. I'll stick with three. <laughs> or you could spend a will. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's enough. <laughs> So, you find someone, uh, get them to try this stuff right away, hype it up. Um, yeah, they go to their car, do so, and have a very bad reaction because you've tampered with these drugs. And you have an unconscious person, and if you'd like, you can bring back to yeah. Evelyn's. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, that probably wouldn't take that long. Yeah. We'll complete this then. So, yeah, you... Uh, I mean, they're heavy, but you sort of sling them over and help drag. And this would be like, I was trying to make a street deal, right? So it's nobody I knew. Yeah, no, no. This was, yeah. So you, you found a spot where street deals are common enough, and you probably were in and out, so you didn't linger enough to be on someone else's territory to get in trouble. And, uh, yeah, picked up a, a nobody, essentially. Yeah. Proud of the family or something. Yeah, and you bring them back. Are you feeding off them, or are you taking them straight to... Where Jordan slumbers. Um, I mean, I'm good. I'm steady, bro. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of take a bite, just to you know. Sure. Bite at the wrist, put it onto her mouth, opening a little bit. She begins to drink. Uh, how much do you intend to give her? You know, you can do two without really doing any permanent damage. Three, um, you're going to start, they'll have aggravated wounds. It'll be obvious that something happened to them. Um, more than that, they risk death or permanent injury. Um, I'd probably do three. Okay. Um, so, Jordan wakes up. Um, no, I'll say, yeah, you wake up. Your hunger's at two. Um, actually, give me a willpower check. What did I roll? What do you I, have left? What I have left. Mm-hmm. Well, classic one. Okay. So yeah, you go, and once it she starts to come to, and sort of her hands go, and she starts feeding on her own, you go to sort of pull them off, and she bites where he's already bleeding and she bites deeper uh, doing some serious damage gulping down another hunger's worth um, as she was just in the, the worst pain the worst hunger she's ever had in, I don't know, in life and now the beast is overcompensating you gonna try to pull this guy off or she seems latched on you gonna let her finish it I'd let her finish it okay you're at zero hunger so you Drain this person try. The blood tampered with some sort of poison in it. Something that doesn't feel quite quite I'm right. Sure. You're relieved, I'm but sure. you, you feel a little off. Um, Stay. But you're no longer hungry. So you come to, and yes, you know, body's just sort of slumped over where you're laying. Oh, shit. Um, go ahead. Go ahead and mark a stain. Not really. What should I keep going? Uh... Oh, 
No. I'm sorry. It's just, uh, I mean, I had to do something to get you back. It's, fuck. I, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. Yeah, I saw it. It's happened. I mean, I, mean, I haven't even told any of you guys this, but and that's that's happened with me too. I, I like I lost control once feeding. Uh, actually, he's, he was a pretty good bud of mine. Uh, and, uh, and just some girl. And just, sometimes these things just like take over, and you don't really get a say in it. I mean, I'm not saying, like, this is okay, because, I mean, none of this shit's okay, but I understand. And, you know, we'll take care of this together. You don't need to let the others know if you don't want. Okay, yeah. Okay. Scoop the person up. Okay. Scoop them. Start to sort of... The dead weight, not very strong, start pulling him out uh, in the hallway. See, so Wendy with the long cigarette. I'll, uh, I'll take care of that. Yeah. He, he did good. She puts a hand on her shoulder and with her other hand just kind of hoists this guy up and adjust. He's a clear of a serious look. And Thank you, Wendy. goes. You're going to your herd. Mm hmm. Um, Easy enough, you call them up to me, see where they're at, see where they're partying at tonight. Uh, what sort of rock club they're hanging out at, meet up with them. Um, you take him back anywhere, or you just plan on feeding from them there? Feeding from them there. Okay. Um, so you have a herd of two, you can slay two hunger. All right, keeping my hand in my pocket. And you get that resonance, sampling resonance. Awesome. Forget this. And sure. Make them forget, and you head back. Quick affair. They're sad to see you go. You just sort of party and left, but they understand you're, you're a celebrity. You have other places to be. Got places to go. Um, I want to call Huck. Or if he call, I don't have his number. I give him my number. Oh, uh, you do, actually. You wake up to a text already. From, what time did he uh, send it? Uh, a couple hours ago. So during the daytime? Yes. Good to know. <laughs> uh, What's she write? Right? Yeah, I'm going to these guys up to you. Is she going to steal my dice? <laughs> hey, get out of here. <laughs> uh, yes, you have a text from an unknown number. It says, uh, want to meet up for coffee and some white flirting. Uh, I think it's to the point. Sounds good. Picasso's at 30. Like 30 minutes? It's Picasso's question mark. St. Charles. He goes, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your condolences. <laughs> Might take me closer to 40, but I'm on my way. Mm. The flirting gets lighter the longer you take. <laughs> Did she get something special? She, uh, yeah, that he sends good. you a, a Fast and Furious gift. Uh, <laughs> which one is it? Being you have all of them. Just send it to me on phone right it's now. It's so breaking out of the cabin. <laughs> yeah. Daddy's got yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So you say you. Uh, are you getting like dressed up? Are you going casual? What's the mood Dressed up nice. Okay. I want to look important. Yeah, look important, look good. Uh, Everyone's definition of casual is so fancy. Yeah, so. <laughs> so like sexy casual yeah, is yeah. an option. Okay. It's like yeah. plastic heads. You'll be heading to Picasso's to meet with him after a little bit. Um, in the meantime of that, you'll, you will probably be missing out on his mother coming if that's fine with you. Wendy doesn't seem to bother. She wouldn't me. care if I just... As long as most of you are here, mostly him. Did you get to stay? Yeah, that, well, it's his fault. Which I would say with two yes, yeah. And she's, nice. You get it. 
You're an adult. You can do what you want. All right, I go. She doesn't consider Elisha an adult. Are you there for this? <laughs> okay. Uh, eventually, yeah, you would get back. You see Jordan seems to be fine now. I knew what a pack of Lucky's was. Hey. Uh, no, oh, I reset. No, no, no. It's like, this is how much humanity you have to fill that one. For humanity? So okay. you're at, what are you at? She's an eight. You're still at eight. You haven't lost one. Oh. Um, something I you forgot. You started at nine, didn't you? No. You started at eight. Started at eight. Oh, shit. You guys lost one? Um. Only you and me. <laughs> actually, you have lost one. For yeah. things that probably make sense to you if you think about it. Um. Let me pour this glass <laughs> <laughs> Before we start talking yeah, about you, this. Uh, you have yes. You're at humanity seven. Okay. So you have three blanks. One yes. of those put a mark in saying it's a stain. Get on, get on, get on. At the end of the session, we will. At the end of next night, we will roll. I'm at humanity seven. One of my humanities, I put a stain. Mm -hmm. One of the three blanks. Yep. One of my three blanks. Yeah. So when you roll, you roll what's remaining. So unless you get more stains, if you did the roll right now, you roll two die. And as long as any of them are a success, you don't. That stain goes away. Okay. But if you t occur more stains before the night's up, you'd be rolling less and less. Uh -huh. Obviously, if you get three, it's just done. Okay, uh, but yeah, you, Elijah, returns. Uh, uh, actually, your mom would probably be back already. She got there sooner than she thought. So Wendy and uh, Monica would be having a talk if you guys want to join them or not. Yeah. They would be downstairs talking. I would just, like, uh, look he with Wendy on the side, just kind of say, you know, um, you know, keep the uh, vagrant on the DL. That's your business, and I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. I'm a lot of things. <clears throat> Not a narc. <laughs> Starting to really like you, Wendy. That means you're paying attention. Still freaks me out, but. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Have you talked to your dad yet? Yeah, I tried. Didn't make any sense. Yeah, he wouldn't respond. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. Oh. Uh, Okay. Um, Do I we have some time? Oh, sorry. I would also come downstairs with what I was going to say. Uh, by the time you did that and came back, yeah, they'd be, they'd be there, Monica's there, they're getting ready to proceed. Yeah. So yeah, I'd, I no, I was just going to say I'd come downstairs, but definitely not as fiery as yeah. and interested as I normally would have wrapped in a blanket. Just yeah, as you're talking, come down. Uh, yeah, when you sort of point you and Monica would stand up. Do you mind if I take a look at you? Go ahead. Okay, yeah, she just looks at your face for a while and sort of, with her gloved hand, just observes different parts of you. So your body reverted to normal. They can make this permanent, but these are usually laboratories of sorts that they do these things. If it was on the fly, it might just been a quick thing. He um, just touched my temples and he put like an image in my head and then all of a sudden. Zemichior, in my opinion, the most vile of all the clans. I don't care for most clans. And I'm part of a clan that other people would might consider the most vile, but they take the cake. Their problem. Um, what you experienced was horrible. Hopefully you never run into one again. I will get answers out of them, though. You're owed that much. Nice. He's just deeply connected to my sire. Um, this is very, very important to me uh, on a personal level, so whatever you can find out. I'll let you know first. Deeply you appreciate. can share what you feel comfortable sharing with the rest of the coterie. Thank you. Um, yeah, very shortly after, Elijah would come back. I would kind of just explain to them, because I don't think we went into detail of Wendy, just like mm -hmm. how he claimed to be what, what we assume he was his story you was, give him the full rundown yeah, on what I, happened, uh, essentially? Explain all the stuff I heard in my head and yeah, the situations okay. before. and cause I, I really want to know the truth about this, and I'm not shy about sharing this situation. Go, you're, a, you're a Malk, so I assume you... The approach is an incentive matter. You're a bit... Uh, to use a term, I've I used fucked before, up before. I'm off the cop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not everything's right. Not that anything's wrong with that. That makes sense. Just wired differently. There you go. 
So I'm assuming, have you seen things, heard things? Has Jim contacted you this way before? When he died, I saw it happen. You've been through a lot, kid. Yeah. You haven't been part of our team for very long, but uh, seems you're getting worse right off the bat. Hopefully, things will get easier. But that's up to you guys. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. At this point, you were there. Monica would sort of step aside with you, actually, as she's having this conversation with Wendy. Yeah, I'm we'll just see your hand and look at it. Yeah. It's been a couple of days. Handless. But small price to pay. He took down as a Nietzsche. It's impressive. Yeah, it's a son of a bitch. Definitely. A bit more common than you think. Who, you and I? A lot of people think your dad's the tough one. He's a softie. It comes to doing what it takes, getting things done, sacrificing ourselves to do it. And you're cut from the same cloth. Not something I necessarily want you to inherit from me, but here we are. It's not like I want it, but if my friends are in danger, it's, it's going to be like that. Still got one good hand. The other one will come back. There's... Did you fix Jordan? No. She's strong. Happened on her own. Oh, that's good. She's, I understand, difficult to work with, though. But she's been through a lot. It makes sense. She's, uh, no, just happy to have her back. Well, normally. Ish. Um, My heightened senses. <laughs> senses are still going. I can hear everything you're saying. She's kind of I've been bitch. doing some investigating. The city's a dangerous place for you. But it has a good thing going for it. <clears throat> it is an anarch city, but the ones in charge... For now, seem to have a handle on things. Well, one wants me dead. All of us dead. Well, that's partially your guys' fault. That's, yeah, no, that checks out. Yeah. Um, Especially when... Sorry, you're not there. I can't really move against her. But you have the right idea. You're going to need allies, besides me, besides Wendy, to help protect you from her. We met with one, Toreador. Yeah. I understand that one actually had a pretty good idea. She had a great idea, so... That's good. Follow her lead on this. That leads you to some good places. But um, while things are decent for now, despite your the danger you're in, uh, I mean, things won't last. They never do. Right. The Inquisition. The Inquisition, I'm working to help. I've, a short amount of time I'm here, I think I can accomplish quite a bit to keep them off of your tail and keep them busy, giving you more time to affect the kindred side of things. Okay. Do we have a timeline? Um, do we need to do anything? I wouldn't. Nothing's urgent that I can tell, although okay. the existence of a Samichi here is trouble. The Sabbat. Both sects are fine with me because the Sabbat is my enemy, and the Sabbat is everyone's enemy. Anarch and Camarillo alike. Well, Either way, yeah. see your hurt. It's, it's not worth being a martyr over this. You can't do everything yourself. It's okay to rely on your team, rely on their strengths. Figure out their strengths. I don't yeah. quite know them. Hopefully they have some. No, they Hopefully do. Hopefully you can use them. Like I said, I went came up that all by herself. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. Not I'm, all of you can do everything. I'm exhausted. You're going to have so. to learn that. You're going to have to figure out your roles and do them well. You're gonna have to be the protector of sorts of the group, it seems. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But again, it's not worth losing your life over, so be careful. I understand you wanna help people, you wanna guard them, but you're not gonna get through this without losing some people. It's something you might wanna start learning to accept now. It's kind of a contradiction coming from you. Like you said, we're from the same cloth. A lesson learned. 
something I'd learned the hard way. I'm hoping you don't have to. I understand that. But um, either way, that's impressive what you did. Thanks, Mom. Make sure you're okay. Yeah, yeah. I just need probably another few nights of rest. I'm still pretty beat up. Um, okay. So I don't know what Wendy has planned for us tonight, but how long are you going to be here tonight? Um, let's go talk with the group. Yeah. Um, before she comes back over mm -hmm. the group, can I talk to her for a second? Monica? Sure. Yeah, yeah she comes back with Elijah. Um, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. I'll pull you aside. That's my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Get your off oh, number. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck you. I didn't mean to. But now I don't want to say what I'm about to say, so. Say what you need to say. <laughs> say what I'm going to say. Um, I just wanted to let you know um, that Elijah did a lot in that in the fight is my fault the whole thing started. If I hadn't let him into my head, if I hadn't gone into the room, if I hadn't opened and... F it's all my fault and Elijah saved us, literally, and lost a hand for it. And I know you guys have been apart for a while and I know what that's like as a kid. So I just wanted to let you know what he, he's done for us most recently and that's not to list the other things and Elijah and I have a lot of differences and we butt heads a lot of times and he drives me fucking crazy but this is the facts of the situation and as his mom I just want you to be super proud of him thank you for saying that it's I wouldn't say anything's your fault. He didn't ask to be attacked. He ran into something. He got in over our heads. Most kindred spend years and years and decades doing nothing. They get paranoid or worried to do anything, to make any sort of action that could put them at risk. Well, I don't like you putting my sons in risk. I'd rather him be doing something. All of you be doing something than just hiding, protecting yourself. Too many kids do that already. You guys come in here ready for action, ready to change things, have some sort of goal that you're working towards, and you die for it. So be it. As long as that's something you're willing to accept and willing to risk. I don't believe in waiting around. Took a risk, it worked out for you. It's no use worrying about it now. I don't believe in regrets. Okay. She comes back. Um. She just looks so windy. Right. So, Monica's is going to be taking a trip uh, with a friend here. We have contacts in the interrogating him, waking him up in these parts is a little more, uh, a little more risky. Something happens, we don't have the backup, the resources we would have in Chicago. She's going to take him to Chicago, deal with him there. Report back what she finds. Okay. I'm assuming a lot of the information won't make as much sense to us as it might to you. So we'll be pulling you in, helping us out with this. Hopefully she can soften him up. <sighs> Sam, what you went through was rough. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it, but... You did it. You survived. Not without a few licks, but... Do you know anything off, like, the top of your head from experience the, about the room? The dirt in the coffin. It's the meat you need uh, earth from their home to sleep. So us keeping on away from that should help. I mean, we have a lot of precautions in place. Uh, as far as the flesh stuff, I, I, I really don't. Like I said, they don't work really with the other clans. They're usually lone agents. When we find them, we usually gotta burn them. Do you have any um, like resources on like like testing the soil or anything as far as like figuring out where he's from? 
it's not a very large clan. Most of them come from uh, Eastern Europe. Um, Dracula was a Zemechi. Forgot he's real. Yeah. He's real. Great. And uh, yeah, after that clan hails. All the creepy, they gotta sleep with the earth, all that stuff, except they're a lot more fucked up than uh, <clears throat> even the books mentioned. So, <laughs> we'll get some answers out of him. We'll report back to you when we got something. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. With that, we're going to take our first break. It's exhausting. Pick things up here in a little bit. Cool. So we're recovering from some stuff that happened. See what happens. Bye bye. 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 And we're back. Evelyn. It's me. You're at Picasso's. Love it. Coffee house. Um, you arrive, you see Huck, sort of. He's already there? He is. James. Hell yeah! You, uh, he looks a little out of place he's looking already, around yeah. and stuff. He doesn't see you as you pass the window, but you can definitely tell he's oh, like man. looking around but also trying to look know. casual. <laughs> a mix of that. Um, it, he says isn't very dressed up. But yeah. He doesn't seem like the type that probably yeah, knows exactly. how to get dressed up that well. He definitely sort of the, is that sort of rough and tumble. <sighs> right, right. Hair a little disheveled, but a handsome dude all around. Um, yeah. Change how do you bank. approach? Uh, uh, uh. Does it look like he's like went to the counter? Which which Picasso's do we go to? Which not one did you tell me to go to? Well, let's go to the one on Main because it's not as that's what I fancy. Pictured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw a dude in a steampunk top hat there once, so I feel like he won't be like. It was okay. one time. <laughs> I went to college. Would it be the strangest looking character I'm there? I'm not sure. Or is it the sure. one on Beale Street? I feel. Like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's in there, sort of towards where you go in and up in the back area. He's hanging out there. Uh, he has a coffee already. So we already ordered. Mm -hmm. All right. I go order our coffee. I should order a beer. Um, I've been cool. Wine. Shut yeah. Up. Oh, do they have wine? Because yeah, I think they do Blush, have wine. Blush specifically says that I can drink wine. Yeah, but can you purchase it? Uh, You're a human. You're 17. Oh, yeah. I'm 18, though. Still not 21. Uh, <laughs> You're humanity 8, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can drink wine. Uh, can I also drink other? You, like, is it specifically wine? It says it. Yeah. So I'm sticking to wine only. But you don't uh, got give that me big a. A charisma subterfuge. Okay. You can do subterfuge or etiquette, actually. Actually, etiquette. Charisma etiquette. Go ahead and add your hot die. Dude. She succeeds. She's got like a. It's a whole whole dice. That's her pool. Four for etiquette. Oh, this will be great. This one I roll well on? There you go. 
I just want to see that again. And then I get my hot dog. Is that what you're reduced to now? <laughs> just want to see if it gets better. <laughs> it's been so bad. Four. Yeah, Rachel's great. <gasps> um, That's what I yeah. had. That yeah. Four, you go in, uh, with all the confidence in the world, order your wine, they don't even ID you. Yeah. And the usual. You're you get, get it. Picasso shit. I've probably done this before. Uh, head over. He sees. He goes, oh, I was going to get. They have wine here? Oh, yeah. yeah. They have bottles. Okay. I mean, hey, what's up? You text me, what's up? Some light flirting? Oh, yeah, let's begin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that the chair for her? <laughs> oh, God, I hate hey, this guy. Uh, I'm here for that light flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I would like one flirt, please. Um, so, yeah, you do a, a little bit of the small talk before. Kind of finding out how long he's... Like steering the conversation after a little bit towards like his job and working with Margaret and right. So, so look, I will be upfront with you. I uh, <clears throat> Margaret doesn't like me a lot, but I'm good, so she keeps me around. But I'm a little full of myself, so she's choosing to humble me by making me work at a concession stand. Um. So it's whatever. But I think there's still a really good reason for... I heard you're working with her, or doing something for her. And I think mm -hmm. I could definitely help you. You probably shouldn't tell Margaret I'm helping you, but I think the results will speak for themselves. I think a little bit of sexual attention goes a long way in creating art, too. So this is sort of a win-win for everybody. What's, what's sort of your angle? What's your involvement in this? What part are you going to play? You're an actress? Um, thinking more writer, producer. Okay, I see you. Okay, that's good. I'm, uh, I'm, wow, that's the table next to us. <laughs> <laughs> you do have awesome. more in here, huh? Like, honestly. <laughs> you get the bottle. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good with, like, the uh, effects stuff. If you need shooting locations, a lot of the technical side of things. <laughs> I, I'm, re I'm really good at it, actually. I'm really big into like sort of old school, old school special effects, kind of building things and whatnot. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the nature of your project, but if you need any sort of practical effects or just any weird requests, or you want to know where to shoot in the city, since apparently you're out here. I'm actually further out of this one. That's okay. Really like this. I know, it's so easy. I drove fast. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I think I'd help you out if you're cool with that. Yeah, I could use some help. Um, Coffee. I don't tell Miss Thorne you're working with me. Mm -hmm. And if she finds out, what are the consequences on my end? If I could predict what the director was gonna, how she was gonna react, I uh, I wouldn't be working in a concession stand at the Tivoli. Let's just say that. She likes results, though. Not asking for permission, not groveling, just doing it. But if you just do it and it's wrong, she'll be so fucking pissed. But if you just do it and it's good, that's really the only way to get anywhere with her. You gotta take big risks. Then let's do it. Let's Make do it, it good. I'm not gonna let you drink that. No, don't do it. I was thinking, if you have time, you could do some maybe location scouting. You drive around, you could tell me some of your ideas for this movie. I could take you to some cool spots to shoot at. That's baller. Yeah, that sounds great, actually. Sweet, let's go. All right, show me that car you drove so fast in. And I get up and start walking out. <laughs> it's a Honda. It's a line bike? <laughs> it's a Honda. That'd be a long drive for a line Does bike. he have a cool car? He's a van. It's like, oh, <laughs> he sort of paused when he's saying that, and he just walks with you. Okay, and gets so through. I he's walk. Like, Told you, I do, like, I build stuff, so I need something to carry a lot of equipment. Having to do with the van's super good for shooting stuff. I mean, I could have a cool car if I wanted, but this is very practical. And I create cool things with it. It's practical. Let me try that again. It's practical. You don't have to justify that. And I start walking to my very cool classic car. 
As you peek you the wine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so are you driving them? I'll let them drive. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> I get, I stand by the passenger side and wait for him to open it for me. Yeah, he does so, sort of dramatically, like making fun of the gesture a little bit. Very old fashioned, but okay. We're invoking classics here. Okay, yeah, talk about that. When you say classics, what do you mean? What, what's your era? I'm thinking 40s noir. I want Femme Fatales. I want something. I'm more like 70s and 80s, like crazy effects, like weird stuff. But let's combine the two. What are you talking about? I mean, I combine the two, but I think I could. I like. I could, I could smooth things over for some effects. Actually, I think some core practical effects with sort of that classic style could work really well. I'm big into practical effects. I don't want. That computer shit. Awesome. 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 <clears throat> okay, so I will now drive your very expensive vehicle and nothing will go wrong. Let's see. You didn't drink anymore. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> so um if you allow, he takes a good part of the night sort of scouting different mm -hmm. spots. He shows you some really cool, interesting spots in the city. Um sort of some different abandoned places and stuff. You talk about winning this noir, this classic feel. It talks about how s some of the lighting setups he could do. You can tell he's very passionate about that, and he does know what he's talking mm -hmm. about. He knows what a good shot looks like, and you've done directing things. That's sort of your side. So you talk shop, you connect in that way. And yeah, he shows you some very interesting locations that you probably wouldn't have known about otherwise. And then uh, as it gets probably close to midnight, um, you've been driving around a while. So do you want to grab a drink and we can relax a little bit and then maybe tackle this stuff more later? Sounds good. Mm. Okay, cool, cool. I'll, uh, yeah, I'm driving so I, you don't have to follow me. Let's go. Where are we going? Uh, he takes you to the Grove, to a place called the Monocle. Right. You go Let's in, see. there's uh, someone playing the piano there. Uh, the place is packed. Uh, a lot of people, it seems to be like a big sing-along. Mm -hmm. A pretty classy bar as far as the atmosphere goes, although you can tell the pictures on the wall is sort of, they have black and white photos of like bondage stuff. So it's sort of a weird mix of like... Very eyes wide shut. A little, little bit. Uh, not, 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 not that level of fancy. Okay. Like the people here are not dressed like that. Okay. Just, the art is just a little bit of like classy erotic. Right. But people are drunk. This isn't like a club crowd. This is like a, mm -hmm. uh, a theater kid crowd. And as he comes in, some people recognize him, shout him out, and not. Uh, quite a few eyes sort of linger on you. And uh, he goes, yeah, this is where a lot of the Muni people hang out after shows and whatnot. And we sing, because that's all people do. I have a terrible voice, but I got great fingers. Uh, do you have any requests? For your fingers? Honestly, I could see why you thought I was going there. Uh, if you think you that's were. where I was... Yeah, I was on purpose. Maybe? I'm going to play a song. Do you want me to play a song? <laughs> Do you know how to sing? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's got to be a musical, though. You know your musicals? Pick anything. Have no shame. These people like whatever. Uh, Do you know Rocky Horror? Okay, uh, and yeah, and he goes, and it's been the same piano player all night, and he goes up, and you could tell he has to like talk the dude into like, shit. <laughs> like let me play, play. Like, he struts up like he was just gonna let him take over the keys, and it, he's not, but he seems eventually talk into it. And he clearly like gestures to you, and it's an older I'm dude who sort of looks song. and sees you, and it's yep. like, okay, fine, and let's do this. I'm uh, not doing cats. You said cats, <laughs> and that's why I went Rocky Horror. I said, 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 I said
or something. It's like it's very really close to update. Right shot, Hamilton. Uh, oh, uh, change it at Helpless. Do, uh, Ham do Hamilton, but HBIC. do. Who's the HBIC? Oh. The Grove is her. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um, what? Uh, do. Brianna, HBIC. Brianna. Okay. The head. Head bitch in charge. Yep. I got it. Oh. I Just got cutting. It. Do Helpless from Hamilton. It's Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, okay. You got that one? I mean, yeah, we still love it. We pretend we're over it, but we're not. Definitely, okay. nobody's <laughs> over. Definitely in the grove. You said have There's no still shame. about you Hamilton. You said have no shame. All right. You took my advice. Uh, yeah, Ooh. give me a uh, a performance yeah. charisma. A hip hop song. Just meet me. No, it's. Yeah, it's, it's helpless. It's not. Read the room. Uh, out. Cats. But I'm gonna make him rap the Hamilton part. Cats. I was saying that. He, he does. He knows it. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh wait, that's not. That's charisma. He's super white, so he stretches. He doesn't do the best job, but that's okay. He puts his heart into it. Um, performance, and then does being attractive get me any points? Yeah, that's part of the performance. Yeah, absolutely. I don't like seeing a hot person saying more than an ugly. This is a facial fails. But it How is. How many people do you eat at this <laughs> during so this that's performance? So four, five, six successes to just Eliza Never mind. Skyler. Yeah, you, a newbie. Uh, you heard a couple of the other people saying people are very good. Um, you kill it. Your voice probably isn't at quite their level, but the performance, performance. is there. You eat it up. He's loving it. He does a great job. You're new, but you're instantly just in the full. This whole crowd is obsessed with you. They love it. And they love the fact that you're a new person who came up and did something that took it's some important. balls to do and did it. You chose like an important like yeah. cultural phenomenon. We're in a moment right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, the, all around fucking terrific time. The rest of the night goes great. Eventually the place closes. It takes you back to his car. Yep. <laughs> and Picasso's. Uh, the rest of the conversation doesn't have that much to do with movies anymore. This is more just talking about just whatever pops in his mind. Uh, trying to get to know you a little bit and whatnot. You can tell he's a little bit intimidated. He definitely doesn't seem to come from money or anything like that. And you can tell you're, you're a rich I... bitch and he's trying to gauge... You're a rich girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to gauge the dynamics here a little bit. Uh, I definitely, like... Knowing he's intimidated, keep it that way. Absolutely. Um, at the end of the night, though, he does go in for a kiss. I'll kiss him. Okay. Green kiss. Okay. You can tell, nervous a little bit. You, with your senses, hu hungry a little bit. You can see that vein in his neck. You can hear his heart Dude. pounding, but Dude. you keep things central. It's, okay. Power move. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, and you go in for the kiss. You go in for the kiss. Uh, he's Dead. he's good. It's a good kiss. You can tell he's eager, he's nervous, but he knows what he's doing. Oh. With that, it's like <clears throat> I look forward to working with you. Um, gotta say, light flirting, A plus all around. Um, we should absolutely do this again. Yeah. Uh, let me know when you're ready to start shooting stuff. If you have other people you want to bring on the project and stuff, I can. Give you some names, but I mean, if you got a crew, if you got people you trust, I. I'm gonna I'm make just, some calls, but I'll definitely keep that in my back pocket. Awesome! I think this is gonna be really cool. Actually, I'm really excited for this. Thank you. Me too. For everything. Thank you. Have a great night. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna go to my van that you weren't comfortable being in. <laughs> <laughs> just thought it might be a little more fun. We're wrong. <laughs> And uh, yeah, climb over. You part your ways. Go for it. Okay. Yeah, see, that part is easy, you guys. Shut the fuck up. Just like sing Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> it's so easy. Just yeah, fuck you, yeah, man. Don't do anything. Allison's a show tune to all day on work on Friday, and now I can't think of literally any. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh yeah. man, God. I tried. Oh, yeah, <laughs> vampire's easy for you, but I think I'm fucking human. Yeah, you <laughs> suck. 
I'm not good. It's a party. She just had a great date. She poured some champagne. Look at his shit. That was him, though. That wasn't me. That was fucking him. So, uh... It was you. After your discussion with Wendy and Monica, is there anything else the three of you would like to do? I would play good... No, can't play guitar. Uh... All power chords. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Um, oh, find wait, a prop no, handed at Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably one somewhere. Uh, uh, I mean, nah. I have something. I don't know if it'll, like, time wise, how much we have. Time wise? Yeah. Like, how, <laughs> like, how close is it to the sun? Right. Oh, okay. Oh, how much time until. Uh, <laughs> you have most of the night. Probably. By the time Monica came and everything was wrapped up, it was probably like two hours in. So it was probably 10-ish, 9-10. Okay, yeah, um, I would like to start off with uh, taking photos. I guess I'd uh, use Blush of Life, so, well, yeah. Can you use a Take smartphone? Yeah, use a smartphone. All right, uh, it's one roll for you. You're fine. <laughs> uh, and then so I'm going to take photos of the symbols in his book. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna do some like reverse image searching and dark web prowling. Prowl. Are you going back to your place or doing this uh, at Evelyn's? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I suppose I should stay here. So I would do it at Evelyn's so I would take the necessary precautions not being at my own computer and sure. spend extra time doing that and setting up a safe network or firewall. Okay. To do so. Um, knowing, to knowing for sure that she had mentioned before that her computer was definitely fucked with. Sure. Um, do I see you do this, or am I around you, or is it okay if I'm around you? Yeah, that's fine. Would you mind to uh, send those pictures to me? I have a couple people I want to ask about this. Sure, yeah. Kind of. uh, I mean, you, so you still have the journal. I mean, you have the journal to look at if yeah. you'd like. I mean, go ahead and then, uh, have at it. I don't want to blush though, so uh, I was yeah, just gonna. Yeah, sorry. If uh, you just text kinda. them to my dumb phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could physically like the physical oh. journals. You have it. You could just look at the journal if you'd like. Or you no, I mean, you could do both. Yeah. 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 I just want to. I just want to show someone better. pictures. Yeah. yeah, I'll send them to her. Um, okay. To her smartphone. Do you think it would be uh, a big deal for everyone else if I went back to the coven tonight? To. Um. I think there's a couple people I could ask some questions. Um, I mean, if they need to know anything about Jim with all this, you might be the best person to answer, but yeah, if I, you think you can get good information there as well, I mean, I'm not against it, and no, for sure. I'll cover I, for you for sure. Man. I don't think they're going to get anything tonight. You know, they, they have to drive back to Chicago, and... I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll cover for you if you want. I mean, if they call for me, like, they can get me, but... Yeah, sure. uh, are, you, are you going to look at the journal at all? Yes. Okay. Um, only a resolve plus all specs. <laughs> Got him. Get ready to get your face melted again. Resolve plus all specs. All is a discipline, so it'll be at the bottom. What? All specs is one of your disciplines. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. However many dots you have in that. I, like I had a slash through it earlier. Did I get sure. something from eating? Like, fe I got something from feeding on what's her face earlier. The old lady. The this old lady. Crazy. I got it. Yes, but you but fed I've off had of since someone then. else now. So he no. did not have a resonance. Okay. All right. Oh. Four six. Yay. Misses. Four. Four of them. Okay. She's, she's still here. You slide the journal to uh, Jordan, and as soon as her hand yeah, touches down. this journal, her eyes go wide and she looks up. And there's, it's like someone took a knife and cut across her forehead and starts bleeding. Um, you hear louder than you've heard before, glass just shattering around you. And then you wake up. You see... He's a, a group, you know they're kindred, dressed in like robes. Um, you can hear, you can sense the salt in the air around some rocky island. Um, speaking to each other in 
a language you, you understand what they're saying, but you also know the language is but likely some sort of dead one. One of the vampires focuses, grabs this boulder, and moves it out from in front of the cave. Jesus. The one kindred steps forward to the fountain of knowledge. She's in there. I can feel her power. Let us drink deep, my brothers. And he points to your point of view, this one that moved the boulder. Keep watch, please. You will be ready in time. And you wait. The others go inside the darkness. You hear carnage. You hear screaming. You hear rendering flesh. You hear splashing blood. All of this echoes out and then nothing. And then... a woman um, nude but covered in blood with silver hair a third eye reflecting the moonlight in her forehead step out and look at you so you're the one I've waited for she bites her arm and takes a huge chunk out of it drink deep and know all there is to know child of Sarot she puts the wound to your mouth. And you wake up again, kneeling in a pit. You're crying. You can feel the blood running down your face. As you're begging a group of people lining the pit above you, dressed in like ancient Egyptian garb. So I cannot help what I am. I, I, I will pay for the livestock I have fed from, please. And then... The others just sort of shake their head. One looks. Some of them move a few large pots over to the edge of the pit. You brace yourself as they dump these pots over. And just snakes fill this pit landing on you. And you find a sense of amusement in this. This is enough. And the snakes that are biting and going crazy all stop. And all slowly turn and look up. I truly am sorry that I did not want it to come to this. As this group gathered stares at you in horror, you see a man much paler than the rest of these Egyptian folk gathered. A man you recognize as the one who moved the boulder from the cave. Smile at you and bite his arm. You watch as a Spanish monk frantically gathers his tomes as there are sounds of battle outside. You can see from beneath his robes these shadowy tendrils collecting books, putting things away, quickly taking what he can. As you know, there's an attack ensuing. This place will be overran any moment. He t this man turns and he sees a man at the door, that Egyptian man that was in the pit. The Spanish monks, I, I, I'm sorry, I know we should be fleeing, but I, I had to protect the texts. And uh, why, why are you still here? And then you see the Egyptian man, in similar monk robes to the Spanish one, uh, open his third eye. So the texts will be fine, we will be fine. Let them come. And uh, as he closes all three of his eyes, the darkness billows out from underneath his robes. And you see a crowd gathered. I'm watching a woman giving a rousing speech, standing at a guillotine. Ah, there's a noble looking man in the guillotine, although his fangs bared, clearly a kindred. There's a man in full plate armor next to them. The woman walks up and puts her hand on the helmet. Fighting for the cause or dying with your master? Uh, and then her hand just crushes the helmet and the skull in it with ease. The crowd cheers. And she points the guillotine and someone pulls it and it beheads the kindred that was in it, cutting his head off, his body quickly shriveling to dust. Um, 
as everyone is cheering, she stops and makes eye contact with that Spanish monk in the crowd. You see this woman again, in pain, missing most of her arm, lying in a cliff in a, some canyon somewhere in a desert. You see Jim, as quickly as he can, bleeding, uh, drawing a ward around them. You're lucky I was around. Uh, here I thought I was the only one dumb enough to poke around these parts. They don't seem to care for our kind, stranger. You hear wolves howling, getting closer. Back to finish what they started. Uh, this French woman on the ground. Because it's too late for me. I had much to teach you, but we will have to speed things along. You're next. Don't worry about me. Just drink. All of me. So that all of us may live in you. You see Jim just sort of look confused and you hear another howl dangerously close. So you see the large furred figure start to step from the shadows. You see yourself lying on the roof of the school, pale, the blood drained from you. Jim steps up to you in size. Here you are. I saw you, but I did not see the rest of this mess. As he looks around at the, the carnage of students' bodies mutilated and all over the roof of the school. I see this is all wrong. You're already supposed to be one of us. He looks over. He sees a Cameron, a basis for why foxes and his brothers um, start to stir. Jim tense up. Forgive me. I'm supposed to be passing this on, not turning you, but fuck it. Bites his hand, turns you over, and you see your nearly unconscious body feed from Jim. You see your, your eyes open. You wake up, you make eye contact with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just forget about what you saw. I'll explain all of this one day soon. Promise. You see your eyes sort of flutter as he erases this memory from you. Cameron starts to stir a little bit behind him. I guess I better find something to clean up this mess. You see Jim walk away. <clears throat> You're back in this room next to her, holding the journal. As you see, she isn't looking at the journal. She's looking straight ahead the blood tr trickling from a cut in her forehead, but she's just quickly moving through the journal, just flipping page to page to page to page to page to page, just staring off at nothing. Um, looking at these things don't make sense, but seeing through something else, seeing through this connection that you have with your sire, your sire who made this book, you just have this understanding of some things. And with form success is quite a bit of understanding. You make parts of sense about what you saw. Jim was a line of kindred who would find other kindred, have those kindred, they would mentor them, try to enlighten them. And upon reaching enlightenment, would have that kindred diabolize them, passing on their knowledge their essence into that, going throughout hundreds, thousands of years maybe. You also understand a few things. This is his journal. Not only is it a lot of his memories, some of the things he might not even made sense but start to make sense to you. Some still don't make sense to you at all, but a few distinct, strong memories stick out to you. You understand a little bit about Demetrius. Most of what he said to you, pretending to be Jim, seemed to be true. They uh, were partners, but they were more than that. Um, lovers. Both on a path of enlightenment together. That path that just a few years ago started to split. Both seemed to have reached some sort of state, some sort of way to control their beast. With Jim, it made him more in touch with his humanity. With Dumitru, it made him just emotionless completely, almost like a perfect apex predator 
being able to focus purely on the necessities. He's not sure where they went wrong, although neither believe they went wrong. They also had a disciple that they were very close to. Um, she has Demetrius' powers of insectitude, uh, the ability to, to craft or sculpt flesh. She also is quite skilled in blood sorcery, a gym taught her. You know, her name is Iris. The most recent argument came about her. She has started to slip, started to follow Demetrius' path more. She started to become a little unhinged, a little dangerous. Uh, and then when confronting him, things became violent. These beasts that both of these men have spent a long time completely stifling came out. It was a fight. Jim won the fight. But couldn't bring himself to kill Demetrius. So he sealed them away in a coffin, making sure to pack in some of that dirt so he would live on until Jim had the ability to wake him again and hopefully make things better. Finding this relic was a part of that. This journal, all of his feelings, he buried with him because he didn't want to deal with them until he was ready to deal with Demetri. He has no clue where the sire is now, although she was in St. Louis. Um, you would also know that he was, began to go by the Master of Ravens. Dimitri? Dimitri. They started to sort of sabotage each other on trying to bring other kindred into enlightenment um, with these, these pamphlets. And he disguised himself as Jim. He was able to change his appearance. Um, he was quite surprised. I, 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 he, he doesn't seem to know anything about what happened in that room. He sealed it away. He put a powerful ward in the door. He never opened it again. What you saw in there was not what you saw in there. It was a normal coffin. Whatever had grown and happened past that seemed to be some effect of Demetrio. And you come to, in the room, having flipped through the last pages of the journal, the last thing closed automatically as you Become aware of everything that happened. You see Herb just staring at you. <coughs> you come in. This is from Jim. Uh, it's from Jim. It's in the It's his history. And it was supposed to be my future. Um, if you don't have any, any objections, I'm going to hang on to it uh, for the time being. No, yeah. uh, sure, it's yours, man. Um, I, I don't know what you just saw happen. You just kind of went kind of dead stare for a moment. Into the book. Are you, I mean, are you all right? What, did you just yeah. like see something? Uh, I saw a movie on Fast Forward. Um, we're just. I trust Wendy, and I trust Elijah's mom. Um, but everyone has a lot of pulls on them right now, so. I'm just gonna keep this low right now. It's not it's not anything super pertinent, but um Alright, yes, I mean I guess you don't need me to look into it at all then. Alright. Uh, I mean if you find any symbols or any of like the actual text stuff, then that's great. Any like background knowledge I get on it would be awesome. Um but the stuff I got from it was raw emotion and like feeling that's not super tangible and I can't describe it to you. It was kind of like a movie in my head and it doesn't make sense when I talk about it. I sound even crazier than I actually am. 
and just saying something and so that's why I would prefer to keep this yeah ground sure. level with us yeah no problem but anything you if you I'll let you know yeah. that would be awesome uh, yeah. <sighs> um do you want me to stick here tonight are you gonna go home what's uh, the plan yes yeah, gonna hang around at least for a while and see if Monica and them found anything out talking to Dimitri do you think they'll actually get anything from him in one night getting uh, back there I mean I don't know a ton about torture I mean I've read up on it a lot and like how you know we've been illegally doing it for like years <laughs> ever yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's pretty fucked. I mean, I don't know how long I would last. The American that. criminal system is fucking <laughs> and you know what? bullshit. You might want to rethink, like, just letting her torture. I mean, eh, he was a flesh monster. He thing, fucking so. tried to obliterate us. Yeah, so. uh, I guess we'll let it slide this <laughs> kind time. Kind of okay with it. But, um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I was going to stick around and see if that came up with anything. Uh, do you want me to secure, or are you okay with me going to try to get some more information on this? Um, I mean, if you think you can get anything more out of what you just... I have some contacts. Sure, yeah, go do that. Uh, I'll tell the gang you're yeah. doing some investigations. I'm completely available to be contacted, so just... Yeah, I'll give you a call. Okay. If we find out anything. Is there a car for me to borrow for the night? Probably, yeah. Do I think Evelyn Less would be upset? Ones. You tell me. <laughs> I don't think Evelyn rent. would be upset. Um, I'm gonna borrow a, a car for the night. I'm gonna I'm gonna text would you Evelyn. Care if Evelyn was upset. I I like Evelyn. I would ask before I, I like used her <laughs> car. Um, I would text Evelyn. Hey, I'm gonna borrow the car for the night. I promise I will get it back to you. Not really asking, but also making sure I let sure. her know I'm. I'm. I understand. <laughs> I'm borrowing it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna head. I just said that. God, I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> My face is back. You're lucky. This is all I'm doing. What was your face gonna? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You take a car. I'm, I'm gonna be like coming. in the living area. Do I see her walk by? Are you back? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah back. You're back. Do I see like the cut on her? Actually, yeah. yeah. Forehead. You guys are taking the third eye grind thing way too seriously. <laughs> Never mind, you don't say anything. No, just walk <laughs> up there. Uh, yeah, for the night. I don't even know. Uh, no, you yeah. Why'd you whisper that? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're doing the third eye grind thing. Um, and you have to whisper in yeah, there? Yeah, I, uh, I gotta go um, talk to some of my, uh, my informants, resources, whatever the fuck. I don't know. Sure. I have some people to talk to about some things that have happened. Do you need backup or anything? Uh, no, no, no. All right. Um, but thanks. I go to make a peace sign with his hand. <laughs> still getting used. I'm gonna go to bed. That's all right. Uh, it, it's back. still early in the night. Uh, you actually get a uh, you, uh, text from Spencer. Fuck. Seeing if you have time to come in for a quick powwow. Tonight? Yeah. You do. No, uh, mom's in town. Family, uh, family stuff. Tomorrow? Question mark. Uh, better options then. Uh, what time? Nine p.m. You pick a time. Whatever available tomorrow, champ. Uh, Eight p.m. Done. Okay. Close enough. Okay. Uh, so, fuck yeah, they are. Are you doing anything else for the evening? Uh, there's nothing I can do. No. Okay. I'll go out you're, public. Arm. You gotta get an arm pass. You're going to yep. a club. You're doing. You're researching stuff. Uh, give me an occult intelligence. There's a little bug over here. It's been lying through. He's crawling on my sheet. I'm trying to drink the wine off my sheet. Five. Shame pain. Five. 
herbs into the occult. I was going to say, you better fucking know shit about that. Why? Oh, you see what's up. <laughs> With five, you get hints at something that pops up. Um, that you're not really able to find out much about but you know to research it further. Um, Something called the Book of Nod. Something to do with like vampire history. Took a lot of investigating, a lot of deep digging to find stuff like this. How do you spell Nod? N-O-D. (laughs) N-O-D. I think it might be a a path to start, a thread to start pulling. Is a big deal. Big deal yeah. um, that would take quite a bit of reading. I was doing this. Uh, you leave. Uh, you go to the club. They're there. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Anything you'd like to do all there? Or? Um, yeah, I want to talk to them about the discoveries I've made. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, you you tell them like everything. Yeah. Sure. Um, you all through there, Scarlet, and well, you know now. You know not their stripper names. So and then goes by Nora. Well, Nora is her name. Silk is Mizuki. Scarlet, that actually is her real name. Yeah. Fine. You don't even know. <sighs> They, um, yeah, quite interested in some of the stuff you said, but also a lot of it seems very Malkavian. Something they're not. Things that no one can really decipher or figure out besides the Malkavians. She will, she, Scarlet would tell you what she knows about the clan is there seems to something called the Madness Network. Seems a little insensitive, but so they call it themselves. All of the, the Malkavians are said to be connected to this in some way. Um, whether it's weird pulls that are so subtle you never realized you were influenced by them. Consciousness, like to some people, some very, very powerful Macavians can actively use it on occasion. But it's very hard to do and the results may vary. Nothing is an exact science and nothing is reliable when it comes to Macavians. But she said there's definitely something in your blood that's supposed to connect all your minds. And for this to be a line, um, actually, she would know a little bit because they know quite a bit about the history. Uh, the real I was history say the, of the kindred. The hindred, like the, the, hin- the, the kindred Hinder? history, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like as far as like dating back, <laughs> back. I know I didn't hear about the mm-hmm. Book of Nod, but. She would, uh, she said she'll do a little bit more research, okay. but it sounds, there's a bloodline called. Uh, uh, Nemosinus. M N E M O S Y N E. More commonly referred to as memory seekers. Malkavian scholars that uh, do purposeful diablery. So their, the knowledge that they gain is never truly lost. Where a lot of times, uh, uh, an elder might consume younger. All of it, they said, like even they don't really, Diablo is bad. It's the, it's the equivalent of being a cannibal. It's, and most, and there's a lot of uh, kindred can tell if you've done that to someone. There's nothing you can do to hide it to someone who has all specs. Um, but they did it in a, in a purposeful way, which is sort of crazy because kindred aren't really into self-sacrifice, but 
they cared so much about the knowledge they discovered that they were willing to sacrifice themselves to pass it on to the next generation and so forth. Um, typically a very Malkavian thing. And it sounds like some of the things, uh, the snake thing, that's something called, they were called the Setites. Now they're called, our followers of Set. Now they're just the ministry, Anarchs. Um, the, the tendrils, that's La Sombra, the shadowy powers of that. So it seems it wasn't all Malkavians. Although whether there's Malkavian blood in all these people because of it, or these were Malkavians who learned other disciplines that are trademarks of other clans. Because again, it's possible for kindred to learn any discipline if they feed off of the right vampire. Uh, so there, there's a lot of different ways you could think of that, but it sounds like this might have been some sort of something to do with that cult, for lack of a better word. Although it also sounded like a lot of these were chosen and not really understanding participants, it's... which is a Malkavian thing. They see things, they know where it's sometimes they know where to be or they know who to choose. It seemed like prophecies people were following. It seemed like when Jim found me, I was a picture and a prophecy. And yes, Carla would say, um, he didn't the Malkavians uh, originally were regarded in quite high regard. They were the, the, the oracles. Ancient Greece and all that time, they, every good Ventru king had a loyal Malkavian to read prophecies. The prince, um, that's, Malkavians are rarely in charge. He's known to be pride, quite uncanny in his predictions. That's why it was surprising when he fell because people were afraid to move against him because they always seemed to see what was coming. Do you know who his Malkavian was? His sire? No, like the, the prince's Malkavian? Did he have one by his side? No, no, he was a Malkavian. He was? Mm -hmm. Rare for a prince, but yes. I think a little bit why I feel really unsettled by this. I feel almost selfish in, in this feeling, but I, I think I was supposed to glean the knowledge that Jim had. I think I was supposed to learn all the things he was supposed to pass down to me, and now I'm left with next to nothing. Sounds like you're supposed to diabolize him, yes. And I don't know if I missed an obvious sign or an instruction or if I was just a coward and missed it or... I'm left with nothing from him but this book. Do they know about the sword? Who? The coven? I mean, they know that I have it and that Jim thought it was something. So you told them they know everything? Else? They No, no, no. They... They saw it. Jim told them that was a thing, but they kind of think he's crazy. No, he's asking out of character. No, oh. yeah, out of character. Does, does, does the co have you told them? Do, are they aware of the the so relic? The coterie the knows. The, yeah, not the coterie. The co the coven, meaning those three. Oh no, I mean. Do they? No, did no, you no, tell no, them no, about no, the sword? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah that, sorry. out of character. I was asking. You yeah. used the same voice, which is why it took me a second to catch up. Which is why I was explaining. You should just know. I knew the whole time. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a mock pavement. What? Um, yeah, Makes okay. So, um. Oh no. I said it. It's my hand right. Seems like you had an opportunity to perhaps save him. Oh no. Who knows what repercussions I'll have that he's dead now. None? Yeah, I But also, you don't need to be beheld by these prophecies. Perhaps you were meant to break the cycle, for better or for worse. Don't worry about what you think was supposed to happen or you're supposed to do. Trust yourself. And just because something was prophesized does not make it good. There's a lot of very dark prophecies are the best if they don't come true. We won't truly know what could have been, though. It's something you'll have to come to terms with.
But also, from what we understand, this group are traditionally Nadists, followers of the path of Cain, a path we do not subscribe to. So perhaps you played a very important role in stopping the spread of misinformation, shall we say? Or perhaps you're the one to change this line of knowledge to one of truth. Knowledge considered forbidden. Knowledge that rattles the foundation of what entire factions of kindred are built upon. Breaking the wheel. Breaking the wheel. But if you'd like us to look into this book further, we absolutely can. Our knowledge of the occult and kindred history specifically is extensive. But it alters from what most believe. Perhaps we could draw some parallels, see where the lines intersect, see what part you're supposed to play. I would love to know whatever crossover you can find. Also, I think one of the things that intrigued me the most was the Fountain of Youth was a, a beam at the very beginning of the vision I had in the book. The fountain of it knowledge. checks out with the, they, they, they believe knowledge. that they pass on their knowledge through their blood. And someone is supposed to drink them, absorb their very soul. Um, also, I mean, I, you, you would have pretty perfect memory of what happened still. You remember she uh, called the first one who made the one who moved the bowl to drink, called him a child of Salat. Scarlet would know Salat is uh, one of the original 13. That was Lilith. That was Cain. Child under him. And then the 13 who founded the clans. So Lot was one of them, known for his third eye, known for the first to reach enlightenment. He was diablerized by Tremere. They became an official clan because they absorbed one of the antediluvians. Jim's an interesting specimen in the fact that he believes he may have been Tremere, or he may have been Alcavian. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if the blood in you is through the line the Malkavian showed itself or if from Jim. It is very possible he truly was a Tremere. And what you have is something greater, something that was passed down, something that's always been waiting in all this blood. So while he may be a sire, that may not be the source of your gifts. But we'll never know, will we? That's okay. But give us some time with this book. I'll tell you what we can figure out. Anything else you need to report? Um, I didn't have a face for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who I really was? Um, That's problematic in our line of work. Yeah, it was. I was really worried about. That part. Care to elaborate? Um, no. <laughs> I tell them the entire story. Everything? Yeah. Which is quite a shift. Did you tell them about Wendy and, as well? Oh. We should have done this in a private session. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just uh -oh. buy from your coterie forever. Cut to someone else. Cut to someone else. Quick. <laughs> You know she told us to say I'm driving home by myself. Her. Well, I mean, it wouldn't have really come up before. Yeah. So, it's up to you. Now Wendy has to be quiet. Who is she really loyal to? Let's find out. Let's find out. On next episode. <laughs> of Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I would try to hedge. Um, no, I wouldn't. <gasps> it would suck. Um, I mean, they have no reason to distrust you. You're not right, going to have to I roll know. deception. It's up yeah. to you if you tell them or not. 
Okay. So yes or no? So no, I wouldn't talk about it at that moment. Oh, at that moment. Break it, break it. Relax, 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 relax. I need more hunger dust. Give me a dex brawl. Take them off. Um, okay, so I, you I would tell them the story leaving out Wendy's. Leaving out Wendy's. Sure, sure. Part. Because it wasn't significant in What did you say happened to the body? We took it back. That it's still in your possession? And we, we disposed of it. You destroyed it. We left it for the yeah. sun or okay. something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. God, I'm sweating bulls right now. Sabbat, most likely. You're lucky to have made it out Wait. in your condition. They could yeah. be far, far worse. I got that sense from him. Uh, he was really concerned about the journal. He came back for it and died because he came back. The truth. He seemed to be trying to weave lies. If he has a, a child, there's another Zemichi in the city. It is imperative that we find them. He does. Especially since they could be anyone. Do you know an Iris? I don't, but we will put our resources towards finding them. She seemed to be leaning towards his side rather than Jim's, although they co-parented together for a time. Which... Dimitri is hard to root out, but necessary. Again, we don't subscribe to Camarillo or really Anarch, but not to them. I think it puts and myself at odds too. She has any sense of what's happening. Child of Jim, son of Child of Demetrius. Stay on your toes. You have the gift of all specs. That doesn't seem quite potent enough to be able to discern someone no. pretending to be someone else. The bad thing about Demetrius is they truly are different. It's not a it's not an illusion. Yeah, like they change states. themselves. Sculpt the flesh in a permanent manner. We'll look into this. In the meantime, be careful. Remember what Miziku has taught you with the knives in case you need to use them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest here tonight. A good idea. Obviously, we will update you if anything we find. Thank you, Scarlet. Okay. Um, if nothing else happened that evening, is there anything else I want to do that evening? Take most of your stuff that would take most of the night, besides you, but you're handless. Um, you're staying at the coven, everyone else is staying at everyone's? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, eventually, we rest. And those will take our final break. Sorry, it took up a lot of time. I got a lot of info. Yeah, so, yeah. You had did a good you, lot of reveals. What's up? Did you learn things? You weren't there. You don't know shit. Uh, no, as a viewer. Oh, no. <laughs> you, know you, know you know what? Are. You know but, what? This game is. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. We'll be back a little bit. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's Bye. the recording?
No. Start recording. And we are back. Everyone's waking up at night? I hope not. <laughs> Your vampires, rouse checks, please. I hate you. Alright, get my willpower back. Are you ever hungry? Yeah, get your willpower back if you need um, to. And I'm gonna yeah, do I'm a little bit of blood. Alright, Jordan, you're the only one left. Everyone else was hungry. I doubt you will be. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. She got oh! one! I got one! Oh! oh blush of Life makes you hungry for the first time. No, last session it did. Nope. Too. We drew a blush. But I'll, you roll two dice? You don't. I know. Okay. I knew. You don't. Humanity's high enough. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. Um, just uh, are you I'll, I'll trying to yes. get a hand? Yes. Roll me three dice, maybe. Three? Any yeah. three successes? Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't need three successes. You'll get it. What day is it? Just eat when you fail. I'm hungry. What day is it? Uh, Friday. <gasps> I don't have a choice. Oh, I got hearts. I'm in a torpor. <laughs> oh! <laughs> For real? Dice. Yes. That was a meeting tonight! Yep. Yes! I will say, for Blush of Life, this would have happened first. Okay, so I don't blush. Okay, so you can choose not to blush, but you're at four hunger? No, at three. No, I, no, 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 he's three fucked either way. He's I'm fucked either way. How, many, how much hunger do you start with? I start with three. Oh, oh you start you with fed. three hunger? Start with three. Oh, yeah, you're in Torpor. I thought you just fed, didn't you? And I was, I, I had four hunger, I got two down, down, then I failed. Did you have both he failed, he failed his rouse then, right? No, I got my rouse. He failed his blush. So you, you were at two, but either way, he failed three. Oh, two, so three, five. yeah, you're five. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're five. Why would you go to bed with one? Okay, yeah. Uh, Elijah doesn't wake up. He wakes up dead. Deader. <laughs> um, Deadest. God damn it. It's Friday night. <laughs> Give my car. And the feeling's it's right. Time to party. Two different songs. Uh, there's mine one. Can I blush? Yeah. Uh, you, oh, let's do a humanity check first. <gasps> you have two rolls, right? You have one stain, humanity seven, one stain, seven, seven, eight. You just need success on one of them. Good luck. Two. Oh, erase that stain. Your humanity remains at seven. <laughs> I stole Rachel's dice. Blush. No, you didn't. Blush of life. You went uh, to the bathroom. Which is still Shit. one roll. Get that. Damn it. Mm -hmm. That was on a roll. But I'm you look alive. But you're a little hungry. One. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Elijah doesn't wake up. I'll You've seen the signs before. He seems to. Don't talk before I had my. Blood. Does he have like a little small hand? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, his hand is like discolored. Like it, Deadpool. It, it looks. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's not quite the Deadpool. <laughs> 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 The hands there, it's just, gonna feel it, so it, it just looks a little gross, a little, little sh like the, the, the bone structure's there, the size is normal, the skin seems a little tight, a little off. Uh, is anyone else healing aggravated wounds? No. Oh, did, so did my uh, wound heal? Yeah. I want to... So you take one away. I would like to wake up an hour. No. Before. You can do that. Yes, I can. <laughs> um, and start working... Getting my script like done for the movie, and then I want to text Leah yeah, and see if she'll come over to read it, and also so I can read. <laughs> hey, uh, you should read this. No, right. no. and then we should. Have We're going to use this as an ongoing uh, <laughs> advanced, an ongoing role. Uh -huh. It'll be a series of checks to to turn. Oh, your, uh, Relenius? How well are you doing with this? Uh, bringing in help. We'll add die to this. Okay, I'm gonna bring. I am bringing some help, so that's good. But this, for tonight, is just you. Is it? Would it be a craft? No, craft is physically crafting something. Okay. <coughs> this will be strength brawl. I don't know what you want. Strength and brawl. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Um. Sure. I saw you took care of it last time. You're good at it, though. You don't got any more of that blood. Almost bad at it. <sighs> it's not really I like an art world. That's why I felt like crap. Like it's a, it is a you crap. You say that to me though, and I'm not gonna forget that you didn't. Which say is why that. I put the points there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put my points in. Yeah, but the crap's a, a physical okay. thing. I um. I feel like this would probably, the closest would fall under his performance. Okay. 
I mean, I didn't try that hard. <laughs> but I mean, you also no, are fit, like you're a prop person, so like you still have the, like, the crafting makes sense. Really but for this part, so future roles true. may use that, but for now, let's do a performance <laughs> intelligence. No, I did. Okay. I did. So two for performance, two for. Can you try to pull it away? Mm-hmm. No. And then it's if good. I'm having Leah come over and like good. read over it, do I get dice and for that? Keep going. Is that a dice? And then it happened. Cute. Holy shit. That's, I'm going to spend a will. Oh, but I get one back mm-hmm. for waking up. I um, don't know why I erased it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only get one? You know? Well, I only had spent one. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. So I went two. Okay. Um, it's a big project. It's a lot of your mind. You never really undertook a project like this before. You don't have the best start. But you have progress. It's not a complete waste by any means. Okay. Um... What would you guys like to do about Elijah? <clears throat> I'm up there, so I don't know. Uh, I also want to feed while she's over. I don't know. Can you ask that? Yes, when you're in the uh, You have a. <laughs> she's part of your herd of one, correct? My herd of two. Oh, I have a point one. Yeah. So I get two people. You have two people, but you, you can one. feed yeah. one hunger per week. So take away a hunger. Okay. While you're hanging out with her. Getting to make it out, getting the feed, and then getting the feed. Um, yeah, so you two left before this would happen, actually. Wendy would, uh, <clears throat> see, uh, you guys aren't too good at the whole waking up thing. Chalk it up to being teenagers, but I think it's more to do with you not keeping your beasts in check and staying nice and full. I. Don't want to be your mother. Don't want to have to tell you to eat your dinner and whatnot. But this is getting ridiculous. But I'll take care of this one. You got stuff to do. Do you have stuff to do? Who knows? I got this one. You did your duty yesterday. Um, come on, Charles. I'm going hunting. Her and the dog. Like yesterday. All right. Uh, bye, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> um. Take your hunger down by two. Can we finish them off? Oh, yeah. You won't. <laughs> so you wake I'm up. I'm gonna get strong. <laughs> a little while later. Needs some power, um, Just a little taste. Sort of in a daze for a second as the beast is subsiding. I just remember Wendy looking at you. You only kid. I hear that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Disappears. It's <laughs> another person. How much of the night did that take? What time is it? Yeah. Take a couple hours. Alright. Um, check my phone. Any frantic text? You're late. Yep. I'm heading, heading out there. Sorry. Mom stayed around longer than expected. On my way. Zip, zip, zip. Send him a Fast and Furious gift. That means I get there fast. Right? You head to see Monster Records? Yes. Um, where we have. Spencer's there, Jeezy's there, uh, Lily's there, and you're introduced to your two instrumentalists for the concert, uh, Ben and Dina. Ben and Dina, nice to meet you. Um, Who's doing what? So you just remember, Ben, bass, Dina, drums. Perfect. Alliteration. Nothing else is that easy. Is he there? Yes. <laughs> Dina. Correct. <laughs> So, uh, Jeezy's uh, gotten Sorry, done with his last, uh, I mean, your, your type's known to be hard to work with, but yeah, I'll wrangle you yet. I was also running late, so you yeah, Okay, know. chill, chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> anyway, Jeezy's done great stuff for the song. I think we've got the final master done with the okay. new stuff that you and Lily have been working on. Fucking love it. Awesome. Uh, very good vibe. I think this might be the thing that definitely brings you more to this this high school band that's popular to sort of uh, respect as a adult musicians. That's what saying the biz. It's not the term in the biz, but could be. Sure. The cards right. So yeah, the song, loving it. It's gonna be good. Um, 
I think I got most of the stuff set up for the actual concert. They're coming up in a few weeks. Um, we're going to be playing at Art Hill. Bottom of the hill. Picture this with me. We got the stage. They haven't given me permission for it to be in the water. You know, that sweet fountain and stuff at the bottom. But I'm working on it. Okay. Kids died. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I'm thinking you're there. We got the fountains behind you. We got, like, uh, these candlelight vigils going, you know? Uh -huh. We got candles floating on the water. Beautiful scene. It's theatric. It's dramatic. It's great. The whole hill's covered in people screaming your name. Why foxes? Why foxes? Do they say it as a question? I don't know. It's Remember? a usually a question. Usually a question, and goddamn, will it be a question that night. <laughs> the bottom's nice okay. leveled out. We'll have high energy there. Sure. Uh, top of the hill. It's called Art Hill. There's an art museum at the top. You know it. I do, quite well. Uh, we got some uh, a memorial sorts that will be going on for charity in there. Got okay. some big donors and stuff. The museum will be open late. People can go in, look at a very tasteful, I wouldn't say it's art, but uh, a memorial. <laughs> some of the people have lost their lives and whatnot. Oh, that's pretty cool. Open for donations and whatnot. So this will be a respectful thing, but Good also uh, a celebration of life. Not moving on, but not losing hope. Something like that, I don't know. I'm still spinning the PR stuff. Either way, no one's going to be shitting on kids who lost friends. This isn't a bag. This is yours to fuck up, so don't. I don't think we will. I don't think we will either. Um, right. So what we need to work on, what you guys need to work on, set list. It's going to be important. There's a mood. You're dealing with some sensitive stuff, but also with people that have a good time, if that makes sense. Sure. Figure it out, right up by me. Uh, I know Lily's got some ideas. You two always seem to be firing off or whatever. Do your thing. Yeah. Um, I got all the stuff worked out, all the, the sponsors, the stage, all that should be good. Obviously, uh, I mean, this will be a paid gig. Sea Monster Records will be paying you. Oh, um, but sure. the, the, the proceeds will be going to a foundation. For sure, for sure. Help the families out. Uh, most of the families are rich as hell, but... It's whatever. You know what I mean. Sure. We're going to the cause. So we uh, just need to focus on set lists. We yeah, yeah. This will be televised. Stuff. We didn't this will be televised. No, no, no. Paint up flyers. That's me. I'm the promoter. All right. Says that you sit in my office? That's pretty cool. My office isn't there, but it's in the building. Why'd you... I point in the general direction where my office is located. All right, man. I got it. Point is, I'm the promoter. <laughs> I got the promotion. You're the musicians. Do music. And do it well. Uh, figure out the set list. Um, yeah. Cool. We'll take care of it. Again, televised. It's going to be a big deal. Uh, this isn't a local thing. You guys are huge in the local scene. We're not worried about that. This is your chance. Cracking the old national circuit. Maybe. Talk about potential tour. If things go right with this. Think about it. That would be unreal. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you spend some time. You've got plenty of studio time. Hash stuff out. Cool. Uh, those are going to be playing with you. They're cool. Works for me. If you need me. Yeah. Just give me a call? Yeah. Sure, sure. I'll try not to need you. All right. And, uh, yeah, lead you to the studio. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a good energy in the room. Um, they play the, the final master that uh, Jeezy sort of worked on, tweaking some things. It sounds very good. Cool. It's a sound cool. you've been going for. Lily loves it. Um, you two worked hard on this. Mm -hmm. um, it's good. It's very good. Lily's pretty excited. This could be the definitely be a break. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, to say that the, the, the tour thing, um, I could really use a break from this this place. And we've talked. I mean, we only talked about it, you know, like graduating, hitting the road, getting out of here. This could be it. Just can't fuck it up. So, what do we want to do set this wise? I mean, it's, we're, our band's kind uh, of tough yeah, yeah. to play to here, here, a I, vigil. I, I, got, I, I came up with some stuff. Uh, tweak it, move stuff around. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to do a lot of the songs that make me look great, so you know how to make the band look great. All right. Yeah, and you'll go over the set list with her and stuff. Okay. Ooh, tour. What? I was talking to myself. Oh, nice. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, is there any, anything you specifically want to talk about? You're just going through the set list, trying to work stuff out with her. Any other questions you have for anyone? Or you spend the evening with uh, the new instrumentalist. You guys will definitely practice a lot. You'll be in the actual instrument room working on some stuff. Uh, they're, they're both good. I mean, it feels a little weird. It's, it's not Sid. Mm -hmm. No one can match her energy. I mean, Cameron wasn't the best bassist anyway, so Stu's probably better than Cameron. Yeah. It still feels weird playing with other people, but... The, they know they're, they're here to play their instruments. They jive well with the band. It's um, no, I'm just gonna go to, to Jeezy and mm -hmm. uh, give him props. For, like that fucking master. That sounds awesome, man. That's yeah, yeah. You guys uh, you gave me a lot to work with. It was good. Um, um, glad you like it. I mean, How I'm glad things. I was gonna ask you. I mean, I'm. I mean, she seems better than she has in a while. I assume things have been good between you two. We've had a lot of good writing sessions lately. <clears throat> I can tell. The song's uh, mature for you two. So, I don't know. I guess this, would this be something you want to do? You leave, it, leave the town behind? I've actually given a lot of thought about sticking with the band. I, I love playing with you guys. I yeah. Love the love energy and stuff. But I've, I mean, you know I kind of have my side projects and stuff too. But sure. I think the direction you guys are heading in is something I can see myself doing. Cool. Keep it up. Awesome. Awesome. The Spencer guy is annoying, but he's... But results, at, man. Good at his job. We need that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. He believes in you guys a lot. Good. I mean, Lily's the face, but you're the fucking talent, so I'm glad you're going to stick around. Uh, you're important, too. It's, uh, this wouldn't be what it is without you. Don't forget that. Thanks, man. It's easy to feel like Lily's plays a very large part, which she does. She does. But it's definitely all of us. So she's good at The other two, uh, I have some notes for them. I'll, I'll go over, but... Yeah, man, it sucks not having to sit in camera. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but, oh, well. Sometimes Thanks. wonder what they'd want us to do, and I mean Cameron would want us to do whatever would get the most girls. But I, I think Sid would be okay with this, honestly. I think so. I think so too. Give him a hell of a show. We will. That's something that I mean. That's on you too. Yeah, you're gonna be there too. Not really a performance guy. He's just a musical genius. <laughs> there he is. All right, now you have to just have a good time making some music and definitely happy that he wants to stay because I wasn't going to use him to scapegoat to leave the band. Uh, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, nope, I'm in a good place. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, just hold back tears and cower in fear. Play some music. <laughs> sure. It's hanging out with Lily, right? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. classic hanging out with classic. Lily. Cower in yeah. fear. Uh, hold back, back tears. tears. Yeah, yeah tears. otherwise... It's, 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 again, you're in your element. Um, it, that same energy is there. She's fully put herself in this music. Um, the, the, the camaraderie between you two is definitely there too. Oh, so like you two. Okay. Yes, <laughs> talking you two. To me. <laughs> yeah, that, that that spark between you guys that is the band is burning bright. The worst. All right. She's very physical with you. A lot of she's. Definitely feels close to you again. Comfortable again. Good. You Good. definitely had these walls up for a little bit, trying to figure out what the fuck you were doing as you were fucking I everything seen them up. for a few days, definitely. She Dude, seems ready. She seems just ready to move past it. <laughs> Sorry? She seems ready to move past it. Good, good, yeah. I'll just go with this vibe, man. Do a flip. Not fuck up this vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Do a flip. Which I realized, well, that's a separate thing. We looked in the Soaring Leap, and I realized that's meters, not feet. So it's actually... Pretty good. Yeah, no, can, I, know, <laughs> like, I know. I know. We talked about it at one point with the fortitude thing, and it seems super weak. It was something I just random thought yeah, separate. Okay, gotcha. But I remember looking. It's like you only dump so many feet. I'm like, that sucks. And I realized it's meters. So I'm like, ah, <laughs> the other parts of the world. The other <laughs> nations measures. measure oh, that so sort of like, It was about this. like a decent high school like long jump. <laughs> And I was like, that's not. <laughs> He's just athletic. I think I remember yeah, we all looked at it, we're like, this is lame. And I looked at it again, I'm like, and I was doing the conversions. I'm like, oh, no, soar and leap. <laughs> you can really soar good. and leap. I mean, actually.
actually, though, I was like, I mean, if, like, he wasn't really athletic at all before, that would be kind of impressive, but... If she was already trying to rationalize things. No, 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 either way. It was just a, just a random thought because we were doing it. Either way, dope flip. <laughs> either way, do a flip. DF, dope flip. <laughs> DTF, down to flip. All right. DF, do flip. Next, um, next person. <laughs> next, please. Oh. Is this MTV Snacks? <laughs> um, what was that show? What are you doing for the evening? What? What did you say? To next. Um, I <laughs> blushed, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna I'm stick around going the club for a few hours. It's a Friday night. Work? Yeah, I feel like it. I should. I'm not there super often, and yeah, I live should there. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Let's do a performance charisma. See if you eat something like again. <gasps> Thank you for that performance. That's my specialty, plus I'm hot, and, and hungry. I'm one hungry. I'm hot and one hungry. <laughs> We've all heard that before. Are you... So you didn't take my dice? <laughs> no, that's good, actually. I got four successes. It should right. be more with how many dice, but yeah. Yeah, you put on again. Hell of a show. New blonde Jordan. Is there to make some cash? She does so. Have a, a, a great shift. You have a lot of spending cash on hand now. Um, about, I don't know how much time you want to figure for shifts or um, when I would just have a break at least to go check my phone. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of check in to see where things are, if I've heard from um, Elijah's mom or anyone else in the Coterie. No, I mean, last night would have been essentially traveling to Chicago, so tonight yeah. they would have just started. Yeah. So you, you assume it'll be a little while. Uh, your group, they haven't really gotten any headway yet. Um, Looking into the book, but also trying to find this iris. Nothing yet. Okay. I'll text the Coterie and let them know I'll plan to stay here the rest of the evening unless I hear otherwise. Sorry. Unless I hear otherwise, and um, just let me know. Sure. I'll give her a call. While I'm on break. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just count. Hey, uh, uh, you told me to get a hold of you if you found anything. It was uh, pretty early yesterday, whenever I found this, but uh, it seemed uh, like... It would have been later. That, that, that's a culmination of like a night's nice research. No, that's what I meant, early in the day. Like, it's morning. Late, fairly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thinks he's funny. <laughs> 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 uh, she was... Um, yeah, I, I found some stuff about, I think some of these symbols seem to relate to the Book of Nod. It seems to be some sort of, like, vampire history thing. I don't really know a lot. I'm going to keep looking into it. I just, you wanted updates, so, yeah. Here's an update. No, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah. But, like, really remember the man is always going to put you down. Her. So yeah, I know. As you go like into this research, like watch out for the man. Yeah. Oh, oh. I you don't have to tell know. me that. I'm always watching okay. the man. Okay. He's always watching us. This is hex the patriarchy, you know. Fucking patriot act, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, if, any, <laughs> if anything. Tonight um, changes. Just let me know. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna work here tonight and uh, kind of feel some kind of yeah. semblance of normality. You, you'll be the first to text because you're the least likely to call the cops. So. The absolute least, because I'm dead. So very much. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Chill. Have fun. Are, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go home tonight? Or are you gonna stay at Evelyn's? Yeah, I was gonna. Uh, I need to do some research, personal matters, etc. Person's hunting me down, like yeah. an animal. No, I. I wouldn't want to leave. I wouldn't want to leave her alone tonight, a second night in a row. That's a lot after what just happened. So, um, you have like just take a little bit of time for you guys tonight so yeah we'll do thanks for your help no problem and like i'm i really mean that thanks for your help yeah keep it easy yeah. 
Alright. Uh, so you two are left at Evelyn's. Uh, Wendy would head out for the evening, actually. She has some stuff to do. Um, you would get a call from Delilah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Hey, uh, so, I mean, every, like, it's out there, man. Like, the deal's going down, deal of the century or whatever. Like, this dude should for sure take the bait. I've told someone, like, the most, like, gossipy is people we know. Um, yeah. also, uh, one of uh, the Xmas gang, they got a hold of me, you know, we were in contact. Uh, yeah. so in three nights, so they went to do the ambush. They want to meet you tonight at some bar called Chunks. Chunks, all right. They said to, uh, the best person. uh, I mean, you need to be there. Uh, Evelyn needs to be there. So the others are optional. It's up to you. Alright, you say a time or just any time tonight? They said they'll be there all night. Alright, cool. Tonight time? Alright, um, I mean, this shit's getting kind of heavy. Probably oh, best if for you, sure. you didn't kind of show with us. Because, you know. I mean, that's fine. I don't want to fucking drive all the way out there anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, just like last time we went down to the city for some of these kind of like. Meet and greet situations. You kind of got shot, and yeah, no, that was not cool. Not, not chill. chill. At all. Not nah, chill. I don't feel not like chill. that happening. Yeah, so like from now on, let's keep it to like the usual level of yeah. Dude, I, of I'll like do the talking. I'm spreading the info. You meet with like the vampire meth dealers and shit for what should be doing. Cool, cool, cool. We're on the same. Should page. bring Evelyn. Uh, maybe bring Elijah because like the dude. The most hurt. Tough. I don't yeah. know. I, I, I'm just sort of worried. Like, I'm a little nervous about all this shit going on, you know? That Jack dude seems kind of sketch. Selfish. No idea. Yeah, he's dangerous. Uh, he definitely seems dangerous. Like, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Just be safe. All right? Will do. All right. See you right, later. Bye. Um, I'm still at Evelyn. Yeah. I'll uh, go talk to Evelyn and Elijah. I'm at, I'm at the studio. Do you oh, you're at the studio. studio. Uh, it wouldn't be an all-night ordeal. You know he'd probably come back at some point. Bitch, we're in the I studio all night. I will talk to Eli or Evelyn, then. Mm-hmm. Hey, Ev, um, isn't it cool if I call you Ev? I mean, you could, uh, Evie is something. It's a Pokemon. Somebody it's a Pokemon. Pokemon. It is a Pokemon. Yeah, that's dope. I have a, but right. Just whatever. Just whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, sure, Evelyn. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, um, Delilah just gave me a call. Uh, we're gonna meet up at Chunks. Have you heard of it? Probably not your scene. Um, it's, uh, in this, it's in the city, right? No. No? So it's out here. It's oh, a, some biker bar. Not it's, too far from her place, actually. It's actually pretty close to around here. Like, I'm the um, in defiance. Uh, I love the bar. Where we it's are the right bar. now, yeah. Yeah, as, you know. Roadhouse? I, that's what I meant when I said around here. Yeah, I um, got that. You're. Did you? Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I have three dots in intelligence, Herb. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, me too. But one more than that. So, I didn't want to lose you it. there. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> either way, uh, I was going to go, like, run an errand. And uh, if you could catch up with Elijah when he gets back, just kind of let him know we got to roll over to there to meet up with Jack and, and the biker crew. Um, you know, we probably should call Jordan and see if she wants to ride with us. She doesn't have to, but... Uh, but I got to run some errands, and I'll be back in, like, a few hours. So don't go anywhere. Okay. So we need to go to the biker bar because Correct. Pipes will be there. Or Jack. Because Jack, Jack, Jack will be said there. if I don't go there, he'd probably kill me. That He didn't say that. He just said he wants to meet me. But that's, I assume if I do yeah. something that he doesn't want me to do, he'll kill me. Because that looks like the type of dude that we're dealing with. So. Cool? Okay. Alright. Uh, do you need anything while I'm out? Like, what would you bring me? Or I mean... Like, film? <laughs> do you know where to... Do you know where to... Do you know where to buy... You know Blockbuster's been out of business for a while. Like. I, I download everything. I don't... 
Uh, yeah, that's how most of it works. Oh, everybody does. Do okay. you need VCR? <laughs> Answer him. No. All right. Uh, cool, man. Uh, then you're good, and uh-huh. I'll be back. Okay. Terminator movies. You like those? I do. I do like movies. Gosh, I love movies. <laughs> All right. Did you, see you head that? out. Uh, this Keanu Reeves. Get your car. And as soon as you open the door to your car, you hear Herb. It's Batman. Okay. I don't see anyone there. I sense the unseen. <laughs> um. Uh, do I have the role written down there for it? Uh, wits aspects. Yeah, give me wits aspects. Or resolve aspects. There you go. One of the two. Uh, this will be wits. Yeah. Where is Where is Lila? Where is Lila? Uh, Batman. New York we City. We like movies. We like Shh. Gosh, I love her. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, messy critical. That's Three fun. successes. Oh, actually, sorry, it's messy crit, so that's um, five. four or five. Five Did you break the game? A secret? Uh, do your sword on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a dumb question. You sense the unseen and you get the exact presence standing behind you. And you quite quickly, like this, you've been practicing this move, Wait, the quick what? turn, and, and you go and you slice out uh, connecting. You say, what the fuck? And you see Loki as you just slice oh, his midsection. No. Uh, turn visible looking at you. It's like, what, dude? Oh, God. You can't sneak up on s- people like that. Get from the same Man, cloth. Oh, shit. Why would you do that? I kind of like, kind of like rub You have a it. sword now? Yeah. I mean. Fuck. I that mean, was quick. That was cool. But fuck. <laughs> shit. You <are> <laughs> <laughs> Loki, you just, like, you see him focus in the. I'm sorry. Can Fucking I, like, shirt, dude. It's the coolest thing he's ever done. I already, I, I, I'll get you. And no one was here to see it. <laughs> Speaking of owing me. <gasps> yeah. I heard oh. that uh, he did a big thing. You pissed off Octavia. Turned her down in her own domain. God. Yeah, I mean, she made me an offer that I could refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so I did. I either way, this. that's a pretty badass. <laughs> but, um... I assume you'll yeah. be dying soon, so I want to cash in my favor before you do. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I had to think of something on the fly and think of something you're probably going to die anyway. So, a big risk, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shouldn't it be a big deal to you. Okay. Yeah, I have a um, couple thoughts. Sure. First thought, the Octavia angle got me thinking. Mm-hmm. She's got a book. Blood sorcery book. I would like it. Have some people very interested in it. So you know the Tremere are more or less gone in this city. She sort of holds a monopoly on it. Okay. She would like, never expect you, of all people, to make a move to take it. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> no one's that stupid. She might be why you're able to do it. Or, I understand she wanted you uh, working with her. Maybe play that angle. Get in close, snatch the book. And you're dead anyway, so, you know. I don't know. Figure something out. It's a long shot, but you owe me big. There's another option. Do we want big? Word on the street is you're working with Jack Frost. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> People don't like him. <laughs> I can see why. He's not very pleasant to deal with. No, 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 no. So, maybe... You kill him. Okay. Jack disappears. The dude's a mess, but he's got a good thing going for him. Some things I'm interested in. If he's out of the picture, I might take over some of his business. Uh, do you, I mean, do you know anything about the trade? <laughs> do I know anything about the trade? Her. <laughs> I mean, I'm learning. <laughs> How hard can it be? That's I mean, there's like take over. It's a lot of like relationships and networking. I'm great at relationships. People love Are, working. You just snuck up on me. Like, but I did the cool people. thing, and you, I, I didn't mean, know you had a sword, and now we had a cool thing. exchange. I learned something about you. Learned something about me. All right. I mean, did I? 
Do you like to sneak up on people? All right. I love sneaking. Anyway. <laughs> give me the book. Okay. We'll make sure Jack Frost dies. It doesn't have to be by your hand. He just needs to die cool. soon before you do. All right. And consider that major boon you owe me. Or paid. All right. Do I have to pick one right now, or can I figure out which one works best for me at a later date? I don't think you have much time, but I'll give you tonight. I'll visit tomorrow. Have an answer by then. Yeah, sure, that works, I suppose. Cool, cool, cool. So what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to head home having a, like a shower. Right, showering. I've been like here for like the past few days. This don't is like have, out in the middle of nowhere. This I is don't where you guys hang out. clothes out here, you know? I've been wearing this like two days and stuff. Every day, Evelyn has his clothes pressed down on the bed and he never puts them on. I like the vibe here though. Interesting. But uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, take care. I'll let me know tomorrow what you decide. Yeah. Uh, do I have your number? That'd probably be convenient. No, you know we're not supposed to do that. Like, we're not supposed to use phones and stuff like that. Oh, uh, shit. Um, That's how they find us. Email yeah. address. It's worse. Okay. Um, I'll find you. Sure. Let's see how that turned out this time. Cool, man. Yeah. Okay, I get stabbed again. All right, well, um, I will approach you doesn't own a, boom. in a different way. All right. Yeah. Keep it uh, low key. Uh, all right. That yeah. Works too. All right. Come on. Thank you. Hey, keep those. All right. Uh, I'll be seeing you. I like that guy. All right. He disappears. Your son's going to see him still going, and he hasn't moved. He doesn't have to <laughs> disappears and waits. All right, I get in the car. The car. You, you poke him and with I a like, sword. And I, kind of whip out of the driveway. And then yeah, and he it. scrambles out of the way. <laughs> Just to, like, make him nervous yeah. and then pull out. Sure. Okay. Uh, where are you heading? Um, to Delilah's dad's. Oh. Stan Stevenson's house? <laughs> Stan Stevenson's <laughs> house. Oh, <yeah>. Mr. <laughs> Stevenson. <laughs> Get the battle music ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you didn't call me for this? Sure. Yeah, you'd see, uh, he lives Son out in Chesterfield. Bitch. You make so your way there. Chesterfield. Oh, no. right. Chesterfield. Uh, uh, on the way there, I will call Jordan, though. I did say I was going to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'll kind of let her know. Hey, um, quick update on tonight's activities. We're going to a biker bar. It should be cool. We're going to meet up with Jack the Frost. Um, I'm down. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm out running some errands, but if you head to the mansion, errands? yeah, errands. Just get some things we got going on. You good? Uh, yeah, it should be. Fine. <coughs> Are you sure? I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, just meet up there. Okay. I'll be back before we head to the bar. Do you need right? me to take care of Delilah or anything? Like, do like, is everything good? Yeah, no, she's good. She's just chilling at home. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll see you in a little while. Uh, cool. Meet back at the mansion. Okay, sounds right. good. I always have them off. Like, like in an hour or like. I mean, just when you can get there. They said they'd be there all night, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll be back in like an hour or two. Okay. So we'll wait for it. An hour? Okay. Okay. We'll I'll, wait for I'll work for a little bit longer and then I'll head over. No worries. Take okay. your time. Okay. But don't. Yeah, you arrive at Casa de Stevenson. <laughs> All right, I tried to remember where his cameras point to. Yeah, you still have a pretty good idea of how to avoid the, the cameras. You know, not to walk up to the front door and do exchanges. Okay. Uh, does he keep his car in the garage or in the driveway? Garage. Okay. I uh, will attempt to break into his garage. Larceny intelligence. Again, um, disabling... Security alarms and avoiding cameras. <coughs> uh, it's going to be, I mean, he has cameras <coughs> in both entrances to the garage. There's a side door and the actual garage door. There's cameras pointing to both. Bye, Herb. Sure, I got Loki to do this. Hmm. Yeah, he's pretty Loki. And invisible. Oh, Can you throw the through. sword at the, the light source? I mean, you could destroy them. It'll be obvious something was tampered with. But, I mean, you can. You know their locations enough to 
tamper with them without being seen, but then it'll be obvious a crime happened. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll destroy one of the cameras <laughs> to get into that. And if he's home, you might be aware of that's what happens. Cool. I okay. Kind of drink, I call. All right. uh, yeah, so there's the, the side door. Um, because obviously the garage door would be pretty loud. And, uh, so I need to do a larceny intelligence? Larceny intelligence. Okay. Uh, this is a break-in. Yes, it is. is <coughs> it's on two for that. More stream right now. I know. I mean, can we take a break so I can Four call? Three. No. Okay. Can I take a break so I can call? Please, call to far away. Far away. I'm going to use a will. Ooh. <laughs> One success. Ooh. <coughs> I stole your dad Stop. too. I'm really trying. There's like a tickle. <laughs> the worst response. I'm Is just saying it like it is, man. <coughs> Eat a pretzel. No. Kill me. No, See ya. So, uh, yeah, you go. Good by her. You take out the camera. It's very nice. You feel like you did a percent. Mr. Stevenson. Golden. Mr. Stevenson, <clears throat> fuck you, you fucking fascist. All right. Um, okay, so I'm in the garage. You're in the garage. I take out one of the stones. Okay. And I uh, plant it in his car, uh, probably like in a hubcap or something, or like sure, somewhere sure. in like the body where like it wouldn't be noticeable. Yeah. And I bounce the fuck out as quick as I can. Bye. <coughs> Please. I'm really trying. I know it's not your scene. You don't have to do everything for attention right now. It's, it's like I the... do. It's one of my touchstones. <laughs> <laughs> you hide in the visor. He pulls the visor down. The stone falls. The okay. Is yeah. This? You break in. Plant the stone. Get out of there. Okay. Uh, eventually head back to Evelyn's. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. Make sure I uh, kind of pretty paranoid, so I just kind of keep an eye out, make sure I'm not being followed. Yeah. And then I uh, head back to Evelyn's, yeah. Okay. I Her. would honestly try to be <coughs> out as late as I could. If we have this band, we have good energy. Oh, wow. Give me a wood to wear. Yeah. It's pretty good. Thank you. <coughs> oh my gosh. Hey. I wanted to take a break. I'll go back there and cough for like five minutes if that's what it takes. Do you need some water? No, I keep drinking. What's water? That's not water, though. Mm, what? It's probably worth it. Is, no, this is... You should, you should try to this is water. You know what? Uh, You're right, Chuck. All right, two successes. Oh, no. I've been outmatched. <laughs> okay. Toast and clear. What ingredients? Where are you going? Oh. Table. Okay. Oh, you fucking asshole. Uh, eventually, I mean, you go late, but I mean, these are humans who don't want to stay. They're punk rockers. At three in the morning. Um, That's not the white foxes I know. Yes, it is. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, eventually, probably one-ish, after one in the morning, all of you find your way back at Evelyn's. Hey, guys. Um, ready for the bar? Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to, you. I would have told him to when he got back. Biker bar. I would have told him. Yeah. Which biker bar? Chunks. Chunks. They're the best burgers in town. So we're going to eat them. Don't say that. The like burgers? <laughs> no, why, why would you offer that information if not to make us all sad? It's just memories of a past life. I, Jack wants to talk to me, so I Old figured stuff. we should probably roll pretty deep, you know? Sure. I'm game. So let's go. Um... Not it. What are we talking about? Driving. <laughs> <laughs> I put my nose up first. Um, I mean, I can drive if it's that big of a deal. Uh, Seems like a big deal to these two. You said not it, and I didn't want to be it, so. Uh, sure. I mean, unless you Jordan like, will drive want one to of the drive, cars. Which right, car you take? I don't okay. care. Something. Um, I also subtle. I brought your car back, but if it's ever an but option it's not the same to use, size just keep the keys. Okay, using that same car that you guys will pile in, head to Chunks. The best burgers. Uh, oh, yeah. can I get a sense of my stone? Uh, yes. Track your stones. You fucked us. 
Yeah. Fuck. He's it, tracking it, them it, in his head. It sold the house. Uh, but it's not. But they have another car. Shit. Okay. Uh, yeah. This place is a, a dingy little bar <laughs> at an intersection of some windy ass roads out in the country. Um, plenty of Harley's parked outside. Pretty late. Past when most bars would be open, but mm-hmm. the place seems quite active. The loud music playing. Seems to be plenty of people in. Friday night, lively. You guys pull up. What do you do? Make a note to buy a motorcycle. All right, guys. Um, you know, try not to offend anybody in here. Keep it chill. Good vibes, right? Why are you looking at me? If I know anything about these biker guys, they're like a real mellow. You're the one wearing a sword. Ah, oh, shit. Do you think they'll care? I, think I they'll don't think. Care. You can talk now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that hand motions got your attention more. They did, so they did. <laughs> I whip out a knife and I whip out a gun. They did. Fair. I don't and think you it's pay the attention hand to motions All I about know it. Is that this bar's breaking rules because to find, so you can only serve after. What are you guys doing? One oh, okay. Um, <laughs> let's just go in. We right? just. I yeah. say okay. So I say not make. We just like swoop in like nothing big deal. Just go to the bar and order a drink no. or something. No. Okay. Yeah. No, like so show of force. We're all in no. agreement. Yeah, we're just here. Chill we'll the table. Vibes. Let them come to us. Look, we keep them waiting though. If we see them, yeah, we'll go talk to them, but we'll just go in there with just a chill attitude, everybody. Cool. This is, this is Herb's scene, cool. right? Just figure shit off again. You think Herb's a biker? No, but girl. Okay, so uh, are you going in with a samurai sword on you? <sighs> Thank you. No. No. <laughs> okay, samurai sword in the car. That will be Are you ones. packing? I will go with the sword. <laughs> Do you have a gun? Yours are concealable. Yes, unless someone would be like, hey, no, don't do that. I'm going to go in with them. Don't let me. make us choose no, for I you. No, I would. <laughs> like, it, like I would if no too. one or notices or unarmed. says anything. I don't notice. But I'm bringing this guy, so I am armed. Hey, I got my arm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Teamwork. Uh, you <laughs> head in <laughs> um, to the bar. Immediately <clears throat> spot that long... Tall, lumbering figure of Jack Frost at one of the tables. You see a group of the similar jackets with these white icicle crossed X's. Um, um, you're in for a second. Um, you, you recognize Buzz from Lamb Chop. Look over. Oh, I see him. Takes a breath and uh, goes back to sort of looking at the table. Yeah. Says something to Jack. He turns. Looks at all of you and gets up. Friends, let's ride. Follow me. And he um, goes and sort of looks at each of you for a moment. And heads outside. A few of them follow and they get on their bikes. Can I get a drink? Yeah, just be loading the car. Yeah, I'm a bike. Okay. Loading the car. Leather, you follow them as they go through some winding dark roads, just following the headlights of their motorcycles before they pull off to something you wouldn't have even seen, but it's just barely a trail off the road into the woods. You following? Yeah. Okay. You head off for a while, pretty deep in. Can, can I activate heightened senses? You may. It might be a bit much. Motorcycles are very loud um, while driving. It'd probably be too, too much, much following okay. them. But if you want to do it once you park and then turn okay. the engines off, sure. Okay. I would also like to do that then. Sure. Uh, yeah. Eventually following them, they go to a... Uh, looks like just one of these old farmhouses that was built on some property and it's been abandoned for a long time. Uh, the, the house itself is nothing pretty much barely a foundation pile of wood uh, the barn seems to be intact though clearly abandoned and in disrepair uh, they all pull off uh, they turn the engines off to keep the headlights on 
um, all stepping off their bikes, waiting for you guys to get out of the car. Get out. Get out. Turn get out. off the engine. You two activate your heightened senses. I'll activate potents. I'll grab, I'll make sure I have... Is that a rouse check for you? I think it is. That's what I was checking. I believe so. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I have my sword on me this time. Three step off the One rouse check, but... I mean, not it. like... Nope, I'm drawn, <laughs> just like kind of. Well. The beast stirs oh, as you get that strength Lord. flowing through your pain, your veins. Tonight's gonna be a torpor night. I can feel it again. I feel it. He's so two? two. This is one? where the uh, has it been done before? <laughs> you woke up and yeah. hey, this is where the exchange is happening. Jesus We're gonna set up here. Good vantage point. I can see in the dark just fine. If you guys can't figure something out. My boy Buzz here is going to be in the barn, packing some serious heat. I'd like to see all of you there. More kindred are better than less. Overwhelm this dude. He's not going to stand a chance. Though, I'd like him alive. I've got some questions for him. The deal will be as real as we can make it. I'll bring some stuff. You bring some money. To let us know the job. There's already word out about it. So, we'll be here. We'll wait for him. We'll ambush him. We'll take this fucker out. Sound good? Sounds great. Yeah. Three nights, right? Three nights. Nice. What? So be ready. My I gosh. imagine I'll be able to take this dude pretty easily, but you never know. Maybe he'll bring back him too. What? What makes you think he's not expecting an ambush? He co- he collided you both just together. What makes you think he doesn't anticipate a setup on purpose that he orchestrated? Delilah did a good job. He shouldn't suspect a thing. You have a better idea? S- sounds like he kind of put you two together. No, he came sniffing around because his girl was sloppy. Not because he already knew your gang was involved in drug dealing? He hasn't messed with my gang yet. He's been dealing with people in the city. He only came out here because of her. Or him. But she lived. He's got a soft spot for her. We're going to use that to our advantage. Again, if you have a better idea, I'm listening. That he's not manipulating to lead to you. I'm just trying to explore all the options. Because he seems super ruthless. <laughs> he seems ruthless. He I'm not doesn't give about a that. shit about killing humans or kindred. And that's pretty wild a thing to do. It's I just not ruthless in this business. I'm not worried about him. Even if he thinks it's a trap, he's got to come. Two big targets are going to be here. You won't be able to resist. That's my hope. Again, unless you know something you're not telling the rest of us. Since you guys seem to be weirdly involved in this. Something you like to share. I just see a lot of weird connections in this situation. It seems very coincidental, and I don't believe in coincidences. Okay. Anyway, anyone got anything else to pipe up with? Any second thoughts? Any criticisms? Yeah, boy. Out of game. No. <laughs> what? Uh, I thought this was the night. I would have done a potence. I thought we were getting ready for the drug deal. Okay. Uh, That's okay. fine. Coward. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, now that How he's done that, that, I pull the sword out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's done. <laughs> Nothing yeah. for me. <laughs> This is our best shot, as far as I can see. I mean, yeah. You sound like a pirate. Ambush sounds good, Mr. Frost. You know this shit better than I do. I just follow orders. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I like the ambush. I just think it's better to think about things from every angle. Uh, again, you have another plan. No, I don't. Besides I just... worrying, and then shut your fucking mouth. Let's do this. Now... I will need a little bit of insurance because I still don't really trust you a lot. So, you 
new. Surprise. What are you doing all this? How necessary are you for this exchange? How useful are you going to be when it all Not goes at down? all. <clears throat> Not at all. She's kidding. She's like super important. I roll potent. Okay. As I was saying, you might want to watch yourself a little bit. Really start to get on my nerves. I'll come with another blue balls joke later. I'm over by his side now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your mom. You too. Drink. I'm not super thirsty, man. Drink. Starting with you. I'm gonna have to pass. Why do you think you have to blood bind them? That's I'm the not, thing, not only way you man. have power? If you want help with this shit, you're gonna have to treat us as equal partners. Buzz, if she says another word, shoot her. Buzz nods and goes his motorcycle and he pulls out the machine gun you saw before. Cocks it. Doesn't seem too excited about it. It sort of looks at you. Levels it at you. I'm serious, just anything. Light her up. I, I'm not asking. You're wasting good vite here. Let's go. First sip won't hurt you. <laughs> and if everything goes according to plan, I can trust you, we won't have to complete this process. You understand? Um, who's all here? Is it him and Buzz, or is there a bunch him, more, too? Buzz, Lamb, You know I said I just left the car and he's out of here. Uh, <laughs> Has the keys. Nice try. Uh, it's him more. and eight others. I, I got some more. So can't kill yeah, him this time. No, 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 no. <laughs> the two you recognize are Buzz and Lame Chop. There's a uh, uh, one with short, sort of buzz sides and long red hair. Uh, a pretty muscular, uh, Latino looking man. And four other just sort of generic biker looking dudes. Quite obvious. I mean, obviously, you know Jack Frost is a kindred. You're not sure about the others. But um, as you're discussing this, both of his hands, the nails and the fingers, start to curl back into these huge fucking claws. I'll step forward. Grant. There we are. Uh, do you have any hunger? One. Okay. It doesn't go down, but feeds you some of this blood. Next. I walk up and I drink a minion around him. Okay. Uh, Light her up. Her she says something. Out of character. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's have man silence. So Come on. And, uh, Dude, I've been silent His claw Moses sort of episode. caress your hair a little bit as uh -huh. you do so. Uh... I'll like Moe when he does that. You. On Gross. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> just cheating so his just ego. Play, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, he's, he's, like, he's caught a little off ego. guard. Like, yeah. to try to, you know, yeah. It, it, the, uh. the power dynamic shifts a little bit, as you can that's, tell. Yeah, that's what I was kind of hoping yeah. for. He's trying to scare you, make you nervous. And make so this, I was like, if I make it alone. Does not intend for this to be pleasurable, but you Yours caught him off guard with that. Actually, give me a... A manipulation subterfuge. Add your hot die. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 
Is that a possibility? No, no shut you're up! You're not helping anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I just want like her how, to be successful in yeah, this venture. Okay, so she I'm just yelled one. the loudest she's ever yelled at me. So, when I've been the, the most support I've ever been of her. Yeah, out of character, don't do it. <laughs> Very not Jordan. This is the one situation when I would actually support her, like, sexual use of subterfuge. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. Fuck oh, man. my God. So what is what I'm six. saying. You Red. see, all of you can tell. He's visibly caught off guard a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Sort of goes, and he sort of goes into this smile and stops you. Normally, he would make you drink more. You could tell he's caught off guard That's a little bit and pulls away and licks the wound closed. Okay. <sighs> Three nights here. We all in understanding. Yeah. Although, I have to say, I'm a little hungry now. Come here. Fuck. <laughs> I know who Jack Frost is. Do you know who the Coven is? Not familiar. You should be. Enlighten me. The Tremere? I don't give a fuck about the Tremere. <coughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You should find out <coughs> before turn. you ask questions. Give me a uh, charisma intimidation. <coughs> I think so, yeah. <coughs> You're going to have to play Evelyn from here on out. Yeah. Yeah. Just take the sheet. Charisma no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You may add <laughs> two die. Two, two die? Do you, want it, do you want this to be using it for this? Yeah. This? Yeah. Story? Yes. Story? Sure. <laughs> uh, Not bad. Use a will, though. I'm going to use a willpower. <laughs> yeah. Use a will, though. <laughs> I couldn't see the roll. I just knew she should. I don't she need to, <coughs> but I want to. <laughs> That's a lot. Nice. Um, for six successes. Six successes. As uh, he just looks at you, um, Buzz goes, <clears throat> all right, Lamb Chop actually goes, that's the strippers, boss. He looks at her. They're a little more than that. Aren't they? All right, you guys run along. I'll be seeing you in a few days. If we are from the east side, don't forget it. If we need to get a hold of you for any reason. Delilah's got our number. Right. Buzz, give him your number too. He nods. Oh, uh, strange numbers with you. Oh, cool. How far away am I from him when he says far from the east side? Am I still with like. You're pretty close, yeah. How far is it? Like, is everyone kind of moving away at the moment? <clears throat> Not quite yet. And Buzz went up to her and exchanged numbers. Everyone's still sort of in a group gathered. Um. Oh, out of life. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna push that lock. What are you gonna do? We might be far from the east side, nope. but not so far from her reach. Her being the Virgin Mary for the love of Christ is us all. There you go. <laughs> Consider yourself back on the one more word rule. I'll see you guys soon. <coughs> they stand around, wait for you to get in your car and leave. Sounds like he doesn't need me. Words do a lot with uh, anything I can do. He said one more word, I'm sorry. 
This, what, is this when you leave or you're saying this to him? No, I'm saying this when I leave. Okay. <sighs> Words is literally the only thing I can do. So. I said no if you're saying this to him. No, no. Just the color. Okay. No, he doesn't give a shit, so I don't care. But. He seems like he gives a little bit of a shit. All right. It's always uh, So we get on the car? Mm-hmm. Did you drive bullshit. Yeah. I give a shit. On the way back, I say, hey, guys, um, we totally got to kill Jack Frost. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he seems like a shit person, so. Yeah, it's That's like. That's going to have to happen. Blood bonding the shit out of you guys, and. Yeah. Uh, I'm down with it, because he's a patriarchal guys, piece of I shit. Just wanna... Real thick, so let's. Fuck Jack Frost. You want and to And then fuck I like him? wait a second. Oh, well, phrase, <laughs> phrase. Do you want it is it like a mixed like a little blurry line there? What? You want to No. Like also fuck No. No, it was oh. phrasing. It was phrasing. I, no, that was a power play. I mean, it can be both. It can be like a little No. Okay, okay. 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 Did you how are we no, gonna I kill a dude him. who has I a just bunch hold of him people to his with face. guns? Yeah. We've seen us with guns before. We yeah, can't we'll take together. hits. And we have. Oh, well, you do have an armory, but we also have guns. If we not, let the if, bad guy kill him and then we kill the bad guy, that's the best move because we look innocent. What if the trap was the, the trap? Was it a trap <laughs> for the guy, but a trap for Frost? What if we let the bad guy know we're setting him up? Like to help him kill Frost. Exactly. Shit. We didn't even talk about you, this. Hey, but then you're in the clear, right? You act like you weren't on the deal. That buys you, you were more helping time. yourself get clean. Yeah. Probably Repay your not, debt. But sure. But just for now. I mean, this guy doesn't seem super forgiving. But if he, he were to know that it was a trap, if and it we was were to a, know that he knew it was a trap, we'd have a pretty good chance to get out of there. It was a good sacrifice. That's more of what I was thinking, because I don't sacrifice. think this guy puts off very um, collaborative vibes, you know? He wanted you to get clean, though, right? If you help I mean, yourself get clean by... He just told us not to keep dealing, so... And you... Not even get clean, then. Let him know somehow. Did you... Do we know who I'm it working is? on it. We got three days to find out who it is. Which would remind me, I checked the stone again. <laughs> Still at the resin. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it, trying to figure out who it could be. Uh, um, do we think this vigilante would be able to kill Jack and his guys? I mean, if he knew what he was getting himself sounds into, sounds like it's just a human. He plus, seems pretty capable. Took out that whole house, which had Kendrin in it. One. Ah, can't turn in it. I don't know. Just playing devil's advocate. Looking at all the angles. I mean, we got three days to figure out who he is and let him know. Okay. Do you have any leads? Couple. So, not necessarily fast forwarding, but. What would you guys like to accomplish in these three days? I'm gonna look in. Would you in like to speak to any investigating you want to do? Any preparations? I'm gonna look into Mr. Stevenson some uh, more. Wendy would be back by the next night. And then I'm going to also look into. Uh, the Bloodstone leaves the residence the next night. At a certain time. You're not sure. You wake up and it's in a different spot. Okay. And uh, I'd also look into... It's, uh, if you want to track it down, getting close to it, it's at a police station. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'd do that for sure. Um, and then I would also look into a David Carmichael um, in the next three days as well. Investigation intelligence. Um, I would also use the information I had from uh, the data. Was he in the database? What database? The, uh, 
The Inquisition Saints. one? Yes. He was not. Okay. Then I will just try to hunt him down. So intelligence investigation? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, his parents were not involved in the Inquisition. Must be the next day or the same day? Next day. Give me some willpower. Okay. Uh, three successes. Um, it's pretty easy to keep a track of. Uh, he seems to just be nothing out of the ordinary. It's pretty easy to be held accountable. There's a lot of youth pastor stuff. Um, he's, uh, he's a very social as far as being involved in the community, charities, whatnot. Um, nothing really stands out. Is there anything else you'd like to do during that time? Somebody else going, I think. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah. Or Elijah, sure. Um, um. <clears throat> I would just be doing band stuff, um, like probably like making more rounds at clubs and stuff and shows, just be more active on the scene, just to get people pumped up and stuff like that. But I would like to take the three days to heal and feed. So, so your herd, is, that's per week, so you've used your herd. That's per week, that session sucks, okay. Um, <laughs> so you'll be actively hunting. That's fine. Uh, I'm at the scene anyway, so... Yeah, that's true. So go ahead and uh, give me your three rouse checks. How many? How much aggravate do you have left? Two. I have two. So give me your three rouse checks. Actually, four because for waking up as well. I can't feed first. That night you could. If you want to give me a uh, scene queen manipulation persuasion, I'll let you use charisma as well if you just prefer. We'll say this is just your feeding for the next few days. So Charisma persuasion? Keep up with your arousal. Yep. One, two, three. Three successes. Okay. Uh, give me a rouse check. Just do the... Th Success. No, no, for healing your wound. Three. Oh. Uh, just one success. Okay. Uh, then give me another three. Okay, did my hunger go down with that hunting? Just do another three. And then we'll, yeah, uh, this will be sort of an overall three-day period. Uh, two. Two successes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so overall your hunger will go up by three. You've fairly successful on your feeding. Uh, what, what was your hunger at before you started? My hunger was at three. We'll say after the three days your hunger's at two. Yeah. Your aggravated wounds are healed. Tight, 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 tight. Uh, there's not a ton to do with the band uh, as far as... You, you Again, just trying to make faces. You, you, you practice, and yeah, you get out there. Yeah. You can hang out with Lily too. She's more happy yeah, that, to make the rounds with you. I'm, yeah. yeah, you spend some time with her, getting people excited about the show. Um, you want to something? I will, similar to what he's doing, but instead I'll be doing film stuff. So I'll hear he. I have one aggravated left, so I do that, and then while working on. Um, so you've all, all, also already used your herd. Uh huh. Uh, Siren, give me a charisma subterfuge. Charisma sub. Oh, okay. I'm going to do seduction for it. What's seduction? Persuasion. Yeah, I'll say that's fine. Um, one, two, three. That's what I'm writing. Sorry. Um, does being hot affect that? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Siren? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> A little messy. Sorry. Oh, shit. I didn't see that part. So, four... Six, seven, eight. Oh, she's okay. Give me your three checks for yeah. How many aggravated do you have? One. Just one. Okay. So give me three, three rouse checks. Um, only one hunger. Yeah. And your what was your hunger at starting this? Just one. Stays at one by the end of it. Nice. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Not enough to make a thing about. 
Um, and you want to continue working on the film stuff? Yeah, and I'd be working with Huck and with... Um, with Leah. Leah, okay. and I'd start... Uh, the two get along pretty well. Leah, definitely very different styles. Leah's very artsy, mm -hmm. sort of very progressive, whatever, and Huck's a little old school, but he... Someone that you would expect Leah to tear apart, but he's got a, kind of a charm to him. Like, he's goofy that she sort of finds endearing a little bit. She's, uh, she's actually a little into him as well. Shit, shit, shit. But that's fine, because... Both of you are all about sharing. Um, caring. Give me a craft intelligence. Okay. Three. 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 Uh, add two die. Okay, cool. So that's yeah, yeah. Um, so that's five, but since I have the Fucking will, use it, dude. I'm going to use We're, we're, we're going to need it for the drug thing. Well, I figure I'll get it back before the drug day. No. I'm not working on it on drug day. So that's a, so this is four, five, six, seven, eight. The yeah. movie's done. You three together, it's fucking, everything's Power clicking, house. Lee, you're doing a lot of the, the writing stuff and the director stuff. Uh, Lee is a, mostly a director, cinematographer. She sets up amazing shots. Huck knows all the places to go. He works out some really cool effects. All together, you three are just fucking clicking. Uh, he has some contacts of people to work with. I was going to say, and I have two influence in that. Oh, yeah. So you you find some really good people that, that you Maybe do a great like job of getting this. excited about this project. And you, 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 you're striking gold right now. And you're making a lot of progress. Jordan, what would you like to do in those three days? Um, I want to have some more conversations about the Xmas, the Xmas gang with... Uh, Scarlet and the girls, sure. if they have time, yeah, slash yeah. if there's anything I can do um, to, like, serve the house and everything. Do you tell him you plan on killing him? That is the idea of the coterie, yeah. Okay. Scarlet will let you know. Jack is out. No friend of the kindred of St. Louis. He was exiled under the Camarilla. Uh, there's a blood hunt for him for a while, which means uh, under Camarilla law, you have to have permission to kill another kindred. If you kill a kindred without permission, you get killed. Um, the prince went out an edict for a blood hunt, meaning anyone can hunt him, anyone can diablerize him. He killed everyone who tried. Jack is extremely dangerous, one of the most, a very deadly kindred. He is not the smartest. It would be easy to move against him, but he was smart enough to get out of this city. If he was in the city, people could move against him, people could set something up. He, he got away from everything, and he relies on his just pure animal, animal instincts, predatorial strength, yeah. and he has that in spades. He doesn't like anything involved with the city. He, um, For good reason. He tried to get me to feed from him. You didn't. And uh, I uh, gave him reason to not to. Also, if you denied him and lived, I'd show him. He's scared of Quite us. Quite a bit of guts. I would say he's nervous about us. I wouldn't push your luck too much. If you mm -hmm. disrespect him, and especially in front of his people, he will. <sighs> For sure. But there is enough to make him pause and not force me into it. That's good. And, uh... I know your force of will, plus my confidence in it, uh, definitely helped. And uh, I'm sure he didn't know what to do. People don't really stand up to him like that. But again, be very careful. Yeah. He will not hesitate to kill you. And he absolutely has the ability to do so. You can outsmart him, though. I understand you have some pretty intelligent people with you as well. You should be able to work against him. Also, if you're the one to kill him, don't be shy about it. That'll look very good. Other kindred would be not only impressed, but quite pleased to know he's no longer around. So again, I'm not sure how you plan on doing it, but whatever happens, take the credit. It would be a great pleasure of mine to be a part of his undoing. 
coming to blows with him is not going to end well. Do you have any suggestion on a weakness or, or what might affect him most? Again, he's, he could be outsmarted. He's paranoid, though. And so am I. He's unlikely to be forced into a situation that doesn't work to his advantage. But if he can make it happen. He's, from what I understand, only has one, maybe two kindred working for him. Almost everyone under him is bound or ghouled. And some of them were killed in the, the recent fight. So really it's him. The people who work for him mostly just want to take him out first, quickly, especially if his gang isn't around, which is unlikely, but deal with him rather than the rest. The rest aren't likely to, they're not going to want to die for him. The no. ones that are bound will die for him when he's alive, once he is dead. Maybe not. And that's why he uh, tried to bound the rest of my coterie. Did he succeed? How many times have they fed from him? One twice. One once, I think. Cutting it close, then. Yeah. Typically, about three separate feedings will do. He's very forceful about it. Not very fond of his uh, way of doing things. Be careful. Whoever said from this twice, don't let them feed again. Or else they'll be working against you when it comes to killing him. All right. Be careful. Do you know of... The only thing that anyone said that he seemed to be aware of was the coven. Is there anything else he has some kind of insecurity about? There's In a lot assurance? of insecurities. I said he's paranoid. He doesn't like threats to his power. Maybe it's best to go after his people instead of him. He tends to surround himself with weaker individuals that he's been bullying and control. You're quite forceful yourself. Maybe you can make them more scared of you than him. Or maybe more willing to work with you than him. Offer them something. People are with him out of fear or for selfish reasons. He does have a very successful enterprise. Get to his people and maybe have a chance of getting to him. But again, talk to the wrong one. Talk to the one that's bound to him. They will immediately expose him. Be careful. That's about all I have. Sorry. Thanks. I'll spend uh, a, a good majority of the time working at the club. Sure. All right, um, with that, unless there's nothing else, three nights we can include. What's your hunger at? One. Okay, you can maintain your hunger then. I would um, do some follow up investigations on <laughs> um, that person's family uh, connections again. Uh, okay. Actually, you know. Uh, so you did pretty well before. You feel like you sort of follow those leads where they go. Right. So I, I guess it'd probably be trying to see if I can spot any patterns of David in relation to the murders at all, I guess. Sure. Looking Give me another back at his social media and investigation stuff. Investigation like intelligence. Um, quite the opposite. I mean, he's, this dude was pretty cool, not the type to hang out with David. Uh, they follow each other, or David follows him, I should say, um, but he follows, David follows everybody. Um, yeah, there seems to be very little connection. Obviously, his passing, David had a big push to do something about it and whatnot, but it doesn't seem they really had much of a personal connection. Very different circles. Otherwise, the night of, probably would take the rest of your investigation to do that, your preparation. Um, 
I would like to order Kevlar. Where is there Kevlar in the basement? There's. Yeah, I would like to um, get that. I would, know. Best, sure. I would also like to call Evelyn. It's, I'm here. What's up? <laughs> um, hey, uh, I'm sorry I couldn't stop the the feeding the other. I mean, both times. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything about that. Um, but if he asks you slash tells you, which is more likely to feed again, um, you gotta stall. Okay. Yeah. Because the third time is you're you're out slash you're all the way in, um, and okay. it's gonna make things really tough. Yeah. Um, and I know that's a lot of doing stuff on the spot, but no, I think I whatever I think you I, can do to avoid that. And if you can't, I understand, but it's gonna make things tougher. And I, I don't want to hurt uh, you to get hurt in this situation. I gave him a pretty good scare last time, and I think I can maybe stall it out for a little bit to try to get past it. But if everything goes the way it's supposed to go, then it won't be an issue. I think scare is the wrong word. Maybe Just excited, but um, you may have put him off in some kind of um, direction. Something's different. I think I can... You confused some of his animal senses, is my best guess. So uh, but I have a little bit of info on him. And I don't need him around anymore. Yeah, none of us do. So, he's dumb. And, um, but he's powerful. So let's do our best to use those resources we have. Uh, if I think of anything else, I'll text you later, okay? Sounds good. Yeah. As far as trying to, are you trying to get word to the abyss about anything? Or are you just showing up to the ambush? And... No, we don't know who he is. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so the night elf, the guys all gathered up once. You have bulletproof vest on. Anyone else bring anything out of the ordinary? You have your normal your gun, gun and knife. knives. I'll you have your samurai gun. sword. What kind of gun? What's down there? Which is to say, I don't know. Uh, nothing guns. extreme, but they have like shotguns, uh, machine guns, a lot of light arms, pistols, and whatnot. Um, I'll take a machine gun because I know um, Buzz had one. Okay. Just to try to take a gun as well. What kind? Machine gun. Yeah. Kelly. Um, there are bullet That's bulletproof vest. Yeah, I would bring them for everybody okay. if we had Great. four. I would. There were four people in our family. I hope my parents would have. I'm gonna wear two of them. Provided. That's fine. <laughs> I wear the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um. Yeah. I'm gonna ask her real fast, like. Did you happen to research, like, the gangrel kindred at all? Maybe specific weaknesses weaknesses they have? Uh, no, not really. That's a pretty good idea, though. But no. Well, shit. Uh, you want to do, like, a quick, like, a Google search on your I wouldn't there? be able to Google a clip and find anything out. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Just scramble it. Scramble it. Scramble it. Scramble it. Type yeah. of... Do you tell Loki? Uh, you have the oh, next yeah. night to tell him what you're going to do. Yeah, we tell Loki. I tell Loki that the plan is to kill get Jack. rid of Jack. That's all he needs to know. Okay. Yeah, he would show up to the house. And then I'm working on it. Yeah. Is you show up in a way that uh, Jordan would know? You've been at the... Uh, if you're not at Evelyn, uh, so... Would Evelyn notice? You probably wait for Herb to step outside and okay. pop up. So he comes to the place so of her coven, but doesn't let her know he's goofing around. Does he go to the coven? No, oh, he, she like, the, her coterie. Oh, coterie. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Coterie. Coterie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Coven and Coterie, Coterie. I get Herb's confused. The one who, it's the same shit to me. Herb's the one who has the boon, so he deals with just Herb. Okay. 
Um, with you that, you guys head out. Go to that same spot in the woods. Uh, the Xmas gang all seems set up, waiting around. The drugs are there. You see a buzz with a fucking a mounted machine gun. Oh, shit. Heavy duty shit. Set up in the barn, waiting. And the rest of them, very tense. Jack seems excited, though. Where's a lamb chop? Uh, seems hanging out with Jack and the rest. Like, specifically by Jack? Mm-hmm. Seem grouped up. And, as you guys... No, we're puppies. Uh, take care of that beginning of the next session we've went over quite a bit but I wanted to see what you guys were going to do so we could set things off with this situation so everyone's there everyone's prepared try to double cross Jack Frost and see what happens and we'll pick it up there next time so I didn't do anything what are you looking at me for just follow our stuff follow our stuff we got videos out now on how to do a great job like I'm doing with this stuff. <laughs> we have a program. We got all sorts of stuff that I've definitely finished before <laughs> this video goes out. There you go. Check everything out. It's, it's all a Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. YouTube, Patreon. Yeah, we got MySpace, a lot of cool stuff. All we do have a MySpace. You can find it on the internet. <laughs> no, but I will. Find it. Zenga. Zenga. It's on there. No. Otherwise, um, Vivo. We're table goth. We're doing this thing. We're about to do an after show. Sorry for going late, but also you're welcome for going late for that bonus tent. Bonus tent. Uh, otherwise. Yeah, sign off. <laughs> Just sign off. Put yourself in. Bye. Joinko. Joinko.